this is literally oh, what my. happens in the show. Oh my There's god. There's actually people looking like what? Oh my god, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Oh my god! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Hmm. Obi Wan Kenobi is out. Sure. And, uh,. Three days later. Three weeks later. <sighs> Many months later. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. I don't really know how else to say this. Honestly. I guess I'll just go ahead and say it. Uh, I have a bit of a, an announcement. It's not, I mean, if you want to call it an announcement. But, uh, you know, at, at first, I wasn't in the same boat as Josh and Anthony. They were both, you know, saying about, you know, when the trailer came out, they were like, they're done. If this fails, they're done. It's over. It's done. I wasn't there yet. I was like, ah, I just, I'm not there yet. I just, I can't, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not ready to give up. I wasn't ready to give up. I, I wasn't ready to quit just yet. And these guys, by, like, I'd say midway through this, through this series, midway through this, this show, they were pretty much done. I wasn't there yet. Even when it was still going, I wasn't there. I was like, I'm not there yet. I'm still holding out hope. I was like hoping and just praying. Maybe, just just maybe, there was a chance. I, I can't believe what I'm, about, what I'm about to say right now. I can't believe what I'm about to announce. So, it is with a heavy heart with the, and the deep sadness and regret that I officially announce I am done with Disney Star Wars. I don't know where to, to start. Describe the absolute. There, there's, there are no words. I mean, this. I just. I am in shock. All right, like, look, 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 look. Let's. We, we, I'll get this out of the way real quick for anyone who's like steaming with rage. Um, I don't know if I'll upload this video or not, but here's the thing. Okay, I want to emphasize this as best I can. Get it out of the way so it's abundantly clear. If you like this show. I'm very happy for you. I'm not saying you're dumb for liking it. What I don't like is when people say that I'm dumb for not liking it. We're all entitled to our own opinions. This is us giving ours. However, if you come at me and say that this show is objectively, without question, factual, unequivocally, unironically, amazing, I'm sorry, you're wrong. And I don't know how long it's going to take, but we're going to spend a large chunk of time explaining why. For those of y'all that don't know, I'm a massive, massive, massive fucking Star Wars fan. Most of y'all already know this. 
Like, I'm sure the general person would say, yeah, I'm a fan of Star Wars. No, 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 no. Yo, my nerdism with Star Wars goes deep. Like, deep, deep, deep. I grew up with Star Wars. I watched the original trilogy when I was, like, three, four years old. I grew up with the prequels. I've watched Clone Wars. I've read a lot of the novels. I've read a lot of the comics. I've played so many of the games. Just about any Star Wars media. I wrote a fan fiction for episode 9 for Fox 6. So, my Star Wars love goes pretty deep. more, Way more than the average person. And I know so much about the lore yeah. that it's not even funny. In fact, I probably know more about the Star Wars universe than real life universe. <laughs> so... Here's the thing. It's no secret that I did not care for the sequel trilogy at all. Um, Force Awakens I thought was okay, but I saw it had a, an abundance of problems as you know the months went on after I saw it and the more I thought about it. So I was like, maybe the next two subsequent films can redeem it. Uh, somehow, the next one, Episode Eight, not only did not redeem it, it actually basically <sighs> destroyed the franchise at the point where it was irreversibly repairable. Uh, to the point where I was like, no matter what you do for Episode yeah. Nine, this saga cannot be saved. That's why I wrote a fan fiction, which a large chunk of that was devoted to try to explain the massive plot holes that we got in episode 8 I don't think many people even understand in fact there were so many plot holes in that movie that I couldn't find a way to fix them it wasn't feasible for example the hyperspace kamikaze I had yeah. no idea how to fix that Ryan Johnson yeah, royally even... fucked up the lore doing that yeah. they made it unequivocally clear in the Star Wars novels that are now considered non-canon by Disney for some stupid ass reason, that hyperspace you are not in a physical form essentially because you're going so fast that you pass through solid molecules it's only when you come right into hyperspace and you're right out that you're physical right, so what happened in The Last Jedi should not be possible why? because it breaks space battles it breaks them. And that movie has so many more problems, and that's not even the worst one. The worst one, obviously, I think is Luke, but I, I, I don't want to get into that right now. Episode 9, I knew they were going to have no way to fix that. And sure <laughs> enough, it came out, and it did nothing for me. It was shit. And I knew it was going to be shit. Instead, I was, added I, more problems. Yeah, added more problems than it tried to fix, surprisingly. I mean, it's funny. They tried to retcon so many stuff from The Last Jedi that they retroactively <laughs> made both movies worse. So... And then, uh, you know, and I was like, well, I guess this is where we're at. I mean, you know, Clone Wars Wars Season 7 is alright. Bad Batch is alright. But then a little show called Mandalorian came out. And I enjoyed it because the president of Lucasfilm was not that much involved with Season 1. That's why it was really good. Season 2 came out. It was pretty good, but let's be honest, it was mostly because of all the cameos that we got. They didn't have much of a story going on. But whatever, I enjoyed it, and I was excited for Book of Boba Fett. That came out, holy crap, what a dumpster fire that was. So, naturally, all this being said, with all this history I have with Disney Star Wars, and, you know, I've been angry, I've been rageful, I've been depressed, I've been sad. Ups and downs. Not in a good way, trust me. I have all emotions all over the place, and so... Because look at it this way. Star Wars under Disney has destroyed Anakin, Luke, Han, Leia, Yoda, Chewbacca, R2, C-3PO, Lando, Anakin slash Vader. I said Anakin, but Vader as well. Uh... The Emperor, of course. All those characters I just named, they ruined. They're all ruined. Who's the last character they did not ruin? That's right, Obi-Wan Kenobi. We said this months ago. We said, you cannot afford to fail this, Disney. If you fuck this up, it's over. 
There are people that are still holding on to an inkling of hope that are so blind to, oh, this is, this is incredible. You guys, it's, it's a masterpiece. Y'all, you need to take off your nostalgia glasses. Look at the bigger picture. Yeah. And again, oh my if you God, enjoy yeah. this show, like, that's fine. I'm not saying you're dumb for stop liking using it. Tunnel vision. But don't think that we're dumb for not liking it because this show is but uncritically, factually, unironically garbage. This show is garbage. And look, there's maybe like 10% of this show that I actually like. That's it. The other ninety percent sprinkles of good is mediocre or just crap. And uh, you know, episode one I thought was eh, I mean, it wasn't awful, but you know, it didn't piss me off. Episode two, I was like, oh, no, oh crap. And then it got worse. And then it got terrible. The beginning of the end. And then it got atrocious. And then it got fucking shite. And then oh it just God. became nothing for me. Nothing. By the time the finale to... happened, I felt nothing. There was nothing left. I have nothing left. They ruined Obi-Wan. That's it. We're done. I'm not watching Mando Season 3. I'm not watching any theatrical movies under Disney Star Wars. I'm not watching, uh, what is it, Andor? I don't fucking know. I don't care. I'm not watching Rogue Squadron. I'm not. I'm done. It's over. As long as Kathleen Kennedy is in charge, at least. I'll, I'll put it that way. As long as she's in charge, I'm done with Disney Star Wars. Any new content they put out, I'm done. I'm done. Done. I'm tired of being pissed you know, off. I'm tired of being depressed. I'm tired of screaming. I have too much respect for my time to continue to watch something that's just gonna piss me off. I'm done. I can't do it anymore. So... My, uh, and this and this is the thing. People will say, "Well, you have unrealistic expectations, guys." Disney, how much are they worth? Basically, almost a trillion dollars at this point. Let me Billions. ask you this: Billions. What is their excuse for this to suck? You have the best directors, the best writers, the best visual effects artists, the best uh, actors you could possibly have. The best set designs, the best costume designers, the best composers, sound composers, musicians, all that. Best producers. You you have the absolute best of the best of the best. Because you can afford it, you can pay for it. What's your excuse to fail? What? No. What's your excuse to be mediocre? What's your excuse? This show felt, it's so weird. The show felt so rushed. It almost felt like it was being lazy. put together as the episodes lazy. are coming out. Like, it seems like they had no time to put this together. Yeah, I could see that coming. Some lazy. of these shots are unfinished. Um, you could a lot of the yeah. editing looks like they fucked up the first take and they didn't have time to reshoot, so it's edited terribly. The fight scenes are horrible. The, the <laughs> action's bland and... and Directing uninspiring. Is bad. The directing is bad. The editing is bad. The music. The music is the one thing in the show that's not There's absolute so crap. There is so much wrong with this show. It's not great. I don't know where to begin. It's not, it's not even mediocre. It just sucks. Oh, they have little inklings of yeah. goodness here yeah. and there. That doesn't make it good. Yeah. Like I would like, you I would have rather y'all wanna... release a two hour movie with only good stuff. That's it. Which kinda of makes you wonder they should have done that instead. But anyway, I don't know why we're talking about Obi Wan Kenobi, the show. why why weren't we talking about Reva the show? Because that, that's what this is. This is all about Reva. Who the fuck? <laughs> who cares about him? Apparently we're here to watch Reva. Building up to. A character no one has heard Apparently of before until up you know a couple weeks ago when the show released. Who the fuck's Obi Wan? Let's talk about Reva. Do you like her yet? Do you like her yet? Do you? Do you? You don't? Well, you're a, the R word. Is she, is she redeemable? You're the R word if you don't like her. Like what the fuck? I don't fucking care what she looks like. Her character is terrible. She adds nothing to the plot. And she's bitchy, whiny, and she's annoying. 
There's nothing like it in her arc. It makes no sense. She's unintimidating. Her fate at the end of the show makes no sense, which we'll get into in a minute. Characters don't act like themselves in the show. Not really surprising. But they pull out a fucking Jake Skywalker for Obi-Wan, where he's a recluse, he's given up, doesn't want anything to do with anybody. He's given up, it's over. They... Disney doesn't know how to write Jedi. They don't know how to write strong women. They don't know how to write aliens. They don't know how to write droids. It's crazy to me. Because we, we talked about this. I said, I, we at least hoped that maybe, even it, when the show, even before it came out, we were like talking about it BS like sometime after one of our podcasts, me and Josh. I said, you know, we at least hoped it would have been decent. But it was, but it's like, it's not even decent. It's, it's, as you said, it's bad. It's like, this is actually bad. Literally, this is what so the many... fights are like, Chad. The fights are like this. Like, the equivalent, like, there's just so, so much wrong here. It's, there's so, like, we can go on and on. There's, there's six episodes. There's a lot to talk about for the six episodes. But, it's just, like you said, I don't know where to begin. I mean, I think what I find kind of weird about this, and we talked about the people's, like, when you mentioned how certain how people feel about the show and whether they like it or hate it, it's like, I was watching, well, I didn't watch, but I saw, like, reaction videos. There were reaction videos, like, I saw the thumbnails, I saw, like, uh, like the t- titles of the videos, of people like with their in the thumbnails and I just see how the reactions look where people look like they're excited they're getting emotional oh my god we're losing our minds and I see like the titles say something along the lines oh my god this is great oh my god it's so intense it's exciting and I just think it, the problem and I think I'm this like is the are we watching issue, the like, same show like any, any of the other thing too I think it is nightmare I honestly cool. think a lot of these reactors yeah, or whatever the fuck they like to call themselves is they get excited for everything and because the more excited they get the the more views they'll get i think another thing is this could be just me but i think what what i kind of concluded is that i think it's mostly because they they have almost like tunnel vision i think is the word i'm looking for where it's like they're focused on one specific thing like they're focused on this one thing but everything in the background they're not paying any attention to anything in the background they're like here like oh here, you want to know what I think it is? It's the nostalgia. Oh, look! It's Ian McGregor. It's Anakin Sky. It's Hank Christian. Oh my God! Ten out of ten, the best thing ever. They are not focusing on all the big stuff in the background. They're focusing on one. They have tunnel vision. They're focused on one specific part. They're oh, there's Darth Vader, Anakin, and Obi Wan, Ian McGregor. Oh my God! Like it's nostalgia. I think is what's the the, the people are like. Sh- they love it because of. Those characters. It's because of Ewan McGregor. It's because of Hayden Christensen. It's because of another character that appears at the end of the show. We won't, we'll get into that later. But you guys know what I'm talking about. Yeah. If you've seen the end of the show. Yeah. They uh, they did a whole bait and switch thing. They uh, even in the trailer, so you kind of notice they fucking played uh, Duel of the Fates a little bit in the uh, in the first trailer. Make it a. Oh yeah. It's gonna, it's gonna it's gonna give us that. Prequel oh, yeah, the show, right. but when I started watching, I'm like, they literally pulled a bait yeah. and switch, like what they did with the sequel movies. Was, That's exactly what the I fuck watched, they did. Yeah, they like, knew what they were doing show, when they did that. It, it's not about Obi Wan. It's about Reva yeah. and it's about Leia. That's it. In it fact, yeah. Reva and Leia. Star I think Wars Reva story. takes up Which like. I, am I wrong? I think she takes up at least half of all the scenes in the show. Honestly, actually, I think I think she takes up a bit more than that because we see her more in an episode than we do of Obi Wan. I think she takes up about, if I had to guess, about sixty to seventy percent of these fucking episodes, literally. And I saw, I don't know where I saw it, but someone made a comment that I thought is genius. I said, "Why don't you do just do this, Disney? Why don't you make first before releasing Obi Wan, make a series called like The Inquisitors or something, and Reva can be one of them. Like have a show based around the Inquisitors, right? Hunting down Jedi. That sounds cool. After that, release Obi Wan. That way, you don't have to waste." so much time with this limited series about this character no one has really heard of before on a show called Obi-Wan Kenobi that way you can focus on Obi-Wan more you don't have to focus on this character no one cares about which and I'm gonna say it 
she feels so forced in this. Oh, 110 percent. She like she feels so you know, forced. You and honestly, and I, I I love I don't know who said this. I wish I could find the comments. Someone said, "Look at it this way: if you replaced Reva's scenes with Vader, show was a hundred times better." And of course, you replace like his lines and stuff, obviously, so he acts like Vader. But yeah, if you replace Re the amount of screen time Reva got with uh, Vader slash Hagen Christensen screen time, she would have been a hundred times better, easily. Yeah, I'm like, oh fuck, you're right. Good, would have been more intimidating. <laughs> like she's not scary. She's not scary. All she does is scream, yell, smash, punches things. That's she not try, scary. She tries to look intimidating. She tries to act intimidating. And look, like, look at the show itself. She just isn't good at it. Like Vader scenes, you know, when he shows up the, at the village in episode, I don't know, three. Yeah, three. three. He's like snapping people's yes, necks and stuff and murdering the innocent people. Bad. And I was like, yeah, that's Vader being scary. And he's not going around being like, why is Obi Wan? We can't not help you Wan. <laughs> That's not scary. <laughs> it's not scary. You know what's scary? Uh, villain walking around who says very little, if at all, and it starts killing people and says he nothing. That's scary. He acts intimidating. He walks no, like you can't escape him, Obi Wan. You can't escape him. Ah! I'm the greatest. I'm you. the greatest. Ah! Shut up! I will find Don't you! Remember? What was funny is in that scene- I WILL was FIND screaming. HIM! Yeah, literally, yeah, I remember- I remember, when we, I remember when we watched that episode and I watched that scene, you could hardly hear her because the ship was like, taken off in the background. It's like she was trying to scream at the top of her lungs, but it was like really, really fucking faint. I was- I was kind of just laughing. I'm like, oh, is well, she- if she's really trying to be really intimidating, good. I can hardly hear her. It- it- it was- it was- it was- Cosmonaut already did it. I just saw Cosmonaut had a video of it as well. I know. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> He's kind of she kind of she sounds pretty much like that. You know what's funny? Rima does sound a lot like him. <laughs> All right, screw it. We got to debunk. I guarantee you. I guarantee you he loved it. I guarantee I you. I, I guarantee it's only 10 minutes, okay. Me... I guarantee Please you. He you. loved it. Please don't make me want to punch you. Please don't make me want to punch you. By the way, I don't know why my uh, dislikes like extension isn't working. So I, I I don't know why it's not working, but it's saying there's zero dislikes on all videos. I don't know why it's not working, so ignore the dis oh, like dislike weird. bar. Anyway. Please don't make me want to punch so you, Cosmo. You have a pretty punchable over, face, so don't make me want to uh, Yeah, I don't know. It was Star Wars. You guys may remember in my no, last wasn't. video, I said that Star Wars fatigue has kind of set in for me. And I think that this show definitely solidified that because i really wasn't oh, rushing to watch the last episode and i wasn't rushing to talk about it here in a video i've stated many times before that i really just want star wars to do something different and this is definitely not the show for that so yeah i really wasn't looking forward to this show but at the same time i was willing to give it the benefit of the doubt and overall i think my feelings on this show are pretty complex because on one hand i recognize that yeah it's supposed to just be a turn your brain off type of show but on the other hand I mm, not exactly want it to be even yeah. though i've said before that i do not want a tv show about obi-wan kenobi i still admit that there were a lot of things that i liked in this show i hated that part that I... like the part where he grabs you well, know yeah where he grabs this innocent yeah. person as a human shield you're a Jedi! Oh my <laughs> gosh. ...that I liked in this show. But there wasn't anything they that, not look that at I that liked and go, That's pretty messed up, bro. ...to change my original opinion. I think one issue is that this show isn't very good if you overhype it. The show is kind yeah. of cheap looking. Yeah. Compared to other productions, the sets yeah. are like really low budget. And overall, mm -hmm. the yeah. show doesn't really look... Billion really dollar cup! There's like five, there like five desert planets! As a whole, felt like. yeah. I was not blown away by the present. Oh my god, that face. First of all, I think the script is kind of awful. It's very generic yep. and predictable. Wow. And a lot of the things that I, he, I can't believe this. I'm, I'm shocked. I thought he said he, was, he loved he it. I'm surprised. 
Cosmonaut, you are the most yeah, man, inconsistent reviewer on the planet. Ever. I either yes. 100% agree hey guys, look, it's or 100% hey guys. disagree with you on stuff. My gosh! Hey guys, hey guys, look. Look, it's Austin Powers. Look at that. It's, it's, oh my god. You know? <laughs> this was the <laughs> dumbest part in the entire show. <laughs> The whole time, Somebody literally said I was like, like you gotta be like, kidding me! This, they're trying it's to be Austin serious! They're you trying know, to be like I, I saw someone say this in a comment, they said, you know, you know we're in a sad place like where Family Guy has more respect for Star Wars than Star Wars itself does at this point. Yes. Ooh. Yeah. The whole time watching this scene, I was like, uh, Obi Wan, why didn't you just put her in like one of those crates and like moved her along, you know, in like one of those uh, wheelbarrow kind of thing, like like, like a no. cart, like a cart, like put her in a crate and then move it like a cart on, sadder, on wheels or something. Like, there's so many better ways he could have like done this, and the fact that he they almost get to his ship is just like, I, I don't horrible. know what to say. It's, and Austin it's, Powers is far more entertaining. It's a whole level. It's a whole other level of stupidity. Like I cannot believe this is where we're at. Again, these writers get paid millions and millions and millions of dollars. What was their idea for how they should hide Leia? Oh, I know. Let's pull a little rascals and hide her in Obi Wan's trench coat. You think someone would have, you know, maybe looked at that, you know, anyone in that little like, room, like, hey, uh, what's sir, up with that are you guy? wearing four legs, and why do you have a tumor sticking out the side of your hip? What is that? All right, man. like, sir, you need some help. Are you okay? All right, you got gosh. some disease going on. We characters yeah, dude, you you okay there? Me confused. Under the hood, there, you some know. Some things feel very sloppy. The second to last episode mm -hmm. had me scratching my head quite a few times. And honestly, I think out of all of the Star Wars Disney shows, this needed to be the one that you really put everything into. Oh yeah, 100%. Oh, we 100%, said this absolutely. months ago. We said, this is it. We said, this is the turning point. This, this is we've the turning saying. point. This is the red stoplight, Disney. This is where you have to pull out all stops and go, all right, we gotta go all out. We gotta do this to win the fans back. Yeah, this is our chance. They have. They should have the money to make to pull the, to put this show and make it. The oh, best we know they do. They're just not that competent. They. they, they I think, how, you could have. I just feel like they're really a little bit of money. I here. feel like in a way, I, I don't agree with you with what you said earlier, Josh, about how all these episodes felt like they were literally being written as they went along filming with the show. Like it wasn't a hundred percent completed. It almost felt like they didn't have a. They didn't have a plan. Literally. It's like oh they didn't know Lord. where they wanted to go. Guys, I don't think they learned from it's the like, sequel trilogy. They did not. I don't think they planned this. It's a rushed, lazy. This is like a rushed, lazy. It almost felt like show. every episode was written by a different show. person. Sure, it was directed by Deborah Chow the whole time, but one consistent vision, my ass. The show was messy. Like, I've seen fan fictions on you know, YouTube that put Obi Wan Kenobi stories together oh, that were far better, and it took them like a few hours to put together. And these people get paid millions. They write shit. What the fuck, well, man? I watched the. There was a video that I watched that actually kind of I can't remember who it was that I watched. I watched like a lot of videos on the show, but there was one guy who said something a lot that kind of basically summed up each episode, and it's like. Each episode is basically the just the rec rescue mission. For you know, because first episode is Obi Wan, you know, and then eventually he gets word that Leia's been captured, and we'll get into that obviously with her capture scene. Uh, and then uh, there's the episode two where he goes on to go get her, and then I think episode three happens, and then she gets captured again. I think yeah, right, yeah, yeah, she gets captured again. So then they go go rescue her again. Episode four. I I, I, I find that hilarious five, that uh, they're still escaping. I find that hilarious. That Disney escaping? is all about oh we're for strong women and stuff. If you're for strong women and strong girls, why do you have Leia get captured eighty times in six episodes? Literally in every episode. Like that's the whole captured. show is a rescue mission. Yeah. This is this is she has to be saved be. over and over and over and over and over. Twice to be exact. But you don't, you don't know what else to do with Leia, who's like the pinnacle of strong female written characters. You don't know what else to do with her besides she needs to be rescued. You don't, you don't know. You didn't know what the you didn't know what to do with Obi Wan in the show. So like, uh, the, 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 we'll have him do a rescue mission. 
Like the That's potential makes, for what you could do with uh, Child Leia are literally limitless. And what did you come up with? We're gonna have the same plot we have with her for Episode Four, the exact same arc. I'm like, you what I gotta think, be kidding what me! I, what I think is so much more crazy and crazy is that because I there was another guy again, someone I watched on YouTube that talked about this saying. The show had good I had a, a good ideas, had a good concept to it. There was some potential. There were some ideas that could have been done well. You could have done something so interesting with Reva and the in her Inquisitor role. You could have done something. Oh, I don't know, along the lines of what you could have done with Finn in the sequel trilogy, maybe. Ooh, you could have done something I'm seeing so a trend there. interesting. Uh huh. Uh huh. Mm. You could have done something so interesting with that. You could have done something so interesting. Or you could have done something interesting with Obi-Wan and his relationship towards Leia. You could have made it feel something along the lines of... Uh, I'll give you an example. You could have had it be something similar to Logan and... Uh, what's her name? X... To, 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 I forgot the girl's name. Laura. Yeah. Laura. I mean, yeah, Laura's her actual name. But you could have done something along those lines a little bit. They kind of seemed like they tried to do that here, but... Oh, uh, man. Can here you is, imagine, like, a... Okay. Uh, kind of uh, somewhat some more obviously violence and cussing would be toned down quite a bit yeah, but, I know that. but it, and it would also be a set in the Star Wars universe but a somewhat coherent um, chain of events similar to Logan that we would have gotten Obi-Wan Kenobi that sounds cool yeah. Yeah, like, I love that. that sounds like crazy, here's the man. thing. Sure, like, the, have Obi Wan rescue Leia at first, but then he has her. She's with him for the entire series. The rest of the series is the Inquisitors chasing after them, and she, he has to protect Leia. Like, yeah. don't have her be rescued. Just have him protect her because she is a child. Have that be the whole show. That yeah. sounds cool. What do we yeah, get? That's oh, thing, uh, Leia, 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 Leia gets captured again, then rescued, captured again, then rescued, captured again, rescued. Oh, let's go back to Reva. Let's, let's show some Leia. Come back to Reva. Go back to Leia. Reva, Reva, Leia. Oh, by the way, Obi Wan's here for about a couple minutes. Alright, back to Reva. Reva, Reva. Uh, let's have and then there's Death Vader as well. We and then uh, uh, Vader's here later. for a couple minutes. Okay, the episode ends. What? What? Like, what the, the problem, fuck's Obi Wan in Obi Wan's show? <laughs> I think that's the issue. It's like the the show had a good concept. But they had like the eight hundred and fifty thousand ideas had, of what they wanted to do and decided to use oh, each yeah. and every single solitary they one have, of them in a six episode series where the episodes are not even scraping thirty minutes. If each episode was like two have, hours long, okay, that makes sense. You could do that. But each episode is like thirty minutes. That's virtually Guys, that's that's virtually. Let's see. That's a. Uh, so six episodes. Six episodes times two, twelve hours. Twelve hours of content versus uh, three hours. Like, is it the show that you could almost watch in three hours total? Let me check. Let me check. I'm gonna check all the run times for each episode real quick. While you keep I mean, talking. they're about thirty yeah, to forty like- minutes or so. I'll, I'll run it up and say four hours. You can watch this entire show in four hours. That's how short this Which is. is. That's so ridiculous. Episode. Like, and that, that's the cra- and that's the thing. It's like the concepts were there, the ideas were there. The problem is, it's the execution. A terrible execution. That's the issue. The big issue here. They had good ideas. They had good concepts, but they executed all of them, majority of them, terribly. That's the big issue with the show. And there, like I said, we can, there's so many things. We can, there's so much to talk about in the show. So many problems. But like that is the the quintessential issue that the concepts uh, were there, but they just executed them poorly. I'm on that same link too, and it's not telling me. Uh, yeah, it's not telling me what the fuck. Yeah. Weird. This yeah, it could have. It really could have been. Like Reva could have been a really interesting character. It's just they executed her character poorly. I think another thing is, and I know this is technically later in the show, but they reveal her motivations, her <laughs> backstory. What in the fuck? Okay, that's fake. Get tickets no. an hour and 33 minutes long? Yeah, that's fake. Yeah. Are they? Really? Anyway, I don't know what that's for. Yeah. 
Let's watch the rest but, of this. Yeah. Put everything yeah, let's into. Get into this real quick. I know a ton of people that don't watch the other Star Wars shows, and they still watched this. And if that was me, I would walk away from this series thinking that these shows probably aren't worth my time, which mm -hmm. isn't really fair because season one of Mandalorian is legitimately a better show than this. And I can't believe yes. I'm saying this, but that Cassie and Andor show actually looks better than Obi-Wan. Just from like a production. I kind of agree. Like but production wise, kind of definitely you production can see standpoint, it. Standpoint, it looks like they put more it time and effort better. into it. I'm like, well, there is yeah. more episodes. There's gonna be like ten episodes in this show, literally. It's like Obi Wan is more like effort. a pinnacle I character. Pinnacle Why would you not like put? half a billion dollars into a show like that i don't understand like it's like this is obi-wan Obi was the, the most the watched icons. it's not only the most watched show at disney plus it's the most watched anything on disney plus ever ever <laughs> like uh hello disney are you do. not aware of how how much of an important character fucking obi-wan kenobi is He's literally in the first fucking movie that came out over forty years ago, bruh. Literally, like he's one of the he is the quintessential character in those films in the Star he's Wars. He's literally universe. like he's part of the Holy Trinity of of Star Wars, basically. Mm -hmm. He's like, the reason Luke basically goes on his journey. Well, technically it's Leia too, but well, he's, he's one the of the reasons Luke's Luke goes lives. on his journey. He's the reason the OT happens. Literally. He's he's the reason. He's the he's the driving force. He's that mentor. With he's the, the other one, we the, wouldn't there wouldn't be an the lightsaber. Basically. OT there would there wouldn't be the OT. Everything would be fucked. The galaxy would be fucked. Obi Wan it's literally the prequels, saved the everything. galaxy. And what do you do with them? Oh, we're gonna push in the side. Here's Reva. Here's here's some Someone more. Someone we're gonna make here's, a show about Reva. Oh yeah, here's Obi Wan, but he's given up many things. He's kind of a loser. He fails a lot. He gives up on the Force. He he wants to train. He he says he wants to protect and train Luke, even though he can't use the Force himself, which makes no sense. Oh my God, I actually just found this out. This is crazy. Apparently, the show went through like three or four different writers while making this show. I just found that. Out. Like yeah. Anthony, put put it this way. All right. Let's say I've known you since practically you were born, right? Just for a minute. Mm -hmm. And yeah, yeah. let's say growing up, you knew me as like this badass karate master. And growing up, you were excited, like excited as fuck to learn all the moves that I, that I learned, right? Mm -hmm. What if someday you came out to me and went, all right, Josh, I want you to train me some karate. And I go, yeah, I kind of forgot how to do all that. And you're like, but you said you trained me. Yeah, but no, I, I kind of forgot how to do all that. But you've been like a master of karate your entire life. How do you just that. suddenly forget? Yeah, I just, I just uh, stop asking questions. The fuck, Josh? I actually what? just realized that too. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I just he... realized that too. I was like, do they? I don't think they do. He, we don't know how he even loses his like, force look, powers. Here, here's uh, Avatar: The Last Airbender. Remember that? Remember that episode? Uh, remember the episode Nightmare, where you know it's like I forgot what it was called uh -huh. exactly. I think it was called the uh -huh. uh, the Firebending Masters. Remember that episode uh -huh. where Zuko is trying to train Aang how to firebend, but Zuko, you know, doesn't have you know he doesn't have the yeah uh, his drive his the, his drive because his drive was to hunt Aang since he lost that drive he doesn't know how to use yeah. firebending properly. That's kind of what it yeah, reminded me of, okay. but they handled it way better when he was like, "All right, my driving force for firebending isn't there, so I have to find a new source." That should have been old yeah, one, which it. is original. originally my drive for using the force was to put an end to the Clone Wars. Since that fucked up, my drive has to be protecting Luke. But instead. Obi Wan is like, yeah, I'm just not gonna use the Force, even though I promised to look after Luke. I'm, I'm just not gonna use it. How are you gonna protect him? Of course, uh, I'll know. use a blaster rifle. <laughs> Motherfucker, what? It's, it's, a Jedi it's funny, has you know. a million times more chance of protecting Luke than some random asshole with the blaster. In fact, Owen could do that for fuck's sake. Literally. 
I find it funny. You know, and then, about him and then like halfway the through the movies. show, I think like episode. No, no, no. Oh, we're gonna bring it up. Episode four. So all of a sudden, all four, of a yeah. sudden, all yeah, now I know how to do it. Out his now. lightsaber and starts deflecting lasers like he's back in action all over again. I'm like, didn't you just say you forgot how to do all this shit? Can he make up your mind? Well, no. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. If you remember, in that same episode, there's a part where I think Here, they're I'm going gonna, to go I'm gonna go take, go take a shit. That is a show. Out my ass. Okay. <laughs> so, in the same episode, they're going to go save Leia. Her and this girl, I forgot her name. Whatever. Uh, and uh, he's like, there's a part where he's trying to like use the Force. It's like kind of not really working with him. He's like testing it, I guess. So I was like, okay, he can't use yeah, it still. Yeah, yeah. He, he still hasn't got it. So let's let's fast forward to when he's over there, he's using his lightsaber. All of a sudden, you know, the glass that shatters there, all of a sudden... Oh my there. gosh, you're he's right! Working. I didn't think and about that! It. Episode yeah. 3, he can barely pick up Leia! The next episode, which takes place probably hours after that, he suddenly can stop a giant wave of water with the Force! What in yeah, the he, fuck?! He shatters the glass or whatever. Oh my god! By gosh. using the force, you know, moments before that scene, like maybe a couple minutes or so before he he was like, yeah, struggling. There's no setup to when he. The there's, no is, there's no consistency. There's no setup to it either. Like he just uses it, and then it's like, oh, he knows how to do it now. Oh my like god. there was no setup to him testing it to see if it worked, and then it failed. He just does it, and it's like, oh. Okay, I guess we're good then. I guess there's, he's back. All there's right. a just... million better ways you could have handled that, and all of a sudden it's like, no, it's fine. He he can use the force oh, yeah. now. It's fine. Don't worry about it. What? 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 Yeah, what? 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 Last episode, show. we could barely use it. What the fuck? There, there's millions of ways the show could have been in, in general. This whole show, millions of ways. We just said earlier there's good concepts, good ideas. It's just the execution is horrible. In fact, uh, you know, even even episode one was promising. It, it had promising stuff because they were like, "All right, so you, you guys have complained about it enough, so we're finally going to have it. We're finally going to have limbs being cut off." We got one, and it was a hand. Yes, I was like, finally. And then they have the Jedi being hung, but he was being hung by his arms, not his neck, so I don't know how he was dead. Yeah, that whatever. was kind of... It's a kid's show, we can't show him actually you know, being hanged. So and then, of course, we have run. the uh, Stormtrooper being cut in half from the laser gate, and then we also have yeah, the... Um, oh, one kind of being burned, but it, it didn't look that bad. And then we had... Uh, not yet. Not what was it? Uh, we had another "quote unquote" violent kind of scene. What was it? Um, trying to think. I'm trying to remember. I haven't fully watched the show myself. Unlike probably these guys, I've seen like bits and pieces and re reviews I mentioned earlier that I've watched and clips of it. So I, I don't remember every little thing. Just certain things I've oh, seen I and what I've heard. It wasn't violent per se. I would just say like dark, but it, it didn't make sense. Yeah. I mean, you could call it dark, but it didn't make sense. Basically, uh, there were a bunch of, like, Jedi being enclosed in, like, these rock things. Like, it looked like they were being oh, frozen yeah, in I think I saw that but they thing. were dead. There were they just the, corpses the there. It's like, it like they were being used as, like, fossils. It was really weird. They and they were just like, what is the point of this? It was pretty creepy. Yeah, they had a it's kid a as well who was like in like this Christmas. fossil kind of thing. It was thing. like a little like, collection. But what's the point? I'm just it's like, what's even the point of this? They're dead. What, I think what they do you bring it up in Rebels too? I think that doesn't they make bring sense. Up in, or not Rebels. The the, the, the the animated Rebels show. They brought it up in there too when the Inquisitors were involved in that show. Yeah, as Anthony, well. I don't know if you remember this. Remember in uh, episode two or three? I think it was two, where. Obi Wan has to use the Force to hold Leia from falling to her death, right? Yeah, I remember. I remember. What does he yeah, do? Not even mentioned. two episodes later, yeah, uses episode, the Force to hold later. back a wave of water because he all of a sudden he just remembers yeah, how remember, to use it. Yeah, because <laughs> <see, 'cause> I <laughs> brought this to Josh's attention. In that, here's the thing, in that, say, if you were, if you didn't hear that, Anthony, I'll, I'll repeat it for you. But I told Josh because this brought new light to it. In that same episode, he's testing the Force out on this, I don't know what it actually is, it's some kind of object there that he's t using it on, and, you know, because they're going to go save Leia, and they're going to go rescue her. Yeah, he's, like, he's struggling to use it, yeah, yeah. And he's struggling to use it. In that same episode, which that, the, he, he uses the Force in that little tank, that glass right there. In yeah. the same episode. 
And there's no, and the problem is there's no setup to him like struggling to do it or anything. It's just like it's that one scene happens. earlier, and it, he just kind of happens now. He's kind of knows yeah. how to, he's back now. No. He's like, oh, okay, we're good. Yeah, now. and we're then good. of course the finale where okay. he's basically Ray and he's pulls up all oh. these rocks and throws it at Vader. I'm just like, okay, sure show. Oh, and Vader just sent him too. You're just gonna have him just remember him. how to do this. And Vader just stands there looking at him being hit by rocks. I'm like, Vader, use the force! Block the rocks, oh, there's you plenty, idiot! There's plenty. there's plenty of things we can get into that. I guess since we're kind of we're well, kind of going no, back no, and forth no, 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 no. We'll, we'll, we'll get into the finale later. We'll save, for, we'll save the war. I, I actually... Well, no, I was going to say there's other things that happen. Uh, yeah, there's other things that happen. Well, we'll sure. save the finale for last, but there's yeah, there's... Alright, well, let's watch a bit more of this. Let's get into, we'll get into that. We'll get into that. It looks like more here. money went into it, which is yeah, very because it did. weird. But like I said, a yeah, lot of probably. things in this show did work for me. Exploring the emotional aspect of Anakin and Obi Wan's relationship is perfect. No, 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 no. I disagree. <laughs> I do not, for a second, believe that Obi Wan was not aware that Anakin was still alive. I don't believe it. Yeah. I don't know if you're aware of this, guys. In Star Wars. Um, I'll try to explain as best I can. In Star Wars, there's this thing called the Force. <laughs> Where you can actually sense oh, when someone that you're close with is alive or dead. You can sense that. It's a thing. It's actually canon in the movies. It's a thing. You can also sense when they're nearby, obviously. Here's the thing. Yeah. Obi-Wan obviously thought that Anakin was going to die from his wounds, right? That makes sense. But yeah, the here's the thing. You mean to tell me that after all these 10 years of Kenobi being on Tatooine with the Empire and saving planets left and right, that he would have never even heard of Vader? He would have never sensed Anakin's presence once. You mean to tell me that he thought Anakin, Anakin was dead Anakin. this entire time? Which, you guys should read some of the Star Wars EU, EU novels that explore quite a bit where um, Obi-Wan, and this is that deep stuff in, in the EU books, which you guys should read. All, I can't remember the name of the book. I'll try to find it later. There's a Star Wars EU novel where... It, it, I think it was in the Revenge of the Sith novel, or it was a novel that took place right after, I can't remember. Anyway, Obi-Wan felt so close to Anakin that Anakin being burned alive, Obi-Wan said to somebody that he actually felt that pain. Oh, God. Because that's how close he was of him. And then he also said, My when, brother, Anakin, Anakin. when Anakin was being put back together like painfully, Obi-Wan could feel that. He could feel right. it and he could hear it. Because that's how close he was of him. Like, do can you imagine? Oh, fuck. Can you imagine in episode one where it has like a quick glimpse of Kenobi, like we're after Revenge of the Sith, and it shows Vader being put together? Why didn't we have Kenobi, like, seeing visions of this and like start to cry he's like what have i done you know what has yeah, he become blah, blah 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 like that would have been way more, more like, emotionally more powerful yep and knowing that despite you know he could be him he could be him in a fight but he chooses not to because he just he cares about him too much that's why he kind of recluses himself on tatooine Mm -hmm. Like fuck! Can and you imagine that? Not, like mean, that's how episode one is. It's like oh my f the feels, the feels. There's plenty of other ideas that they like. I said we go on. There's there's plenty of other things we'll get into. Obviously, there's like so much to talk about. There's gonna be this is gonna be a long one, no question. Which I said there it was. This is gonna be a long one. There's so much to talk about. Yeah, but, uh, I mean yeah. I agree three, though. There's the a lot of things kind of overpowers any of the emotion you might feel. And plus, we never mm. really saw their friendship enough to care. But here, a lot of focus is put on Obi-Wan's guilt and Anakin's spiteful nature. Darth Vader's actually a pretty strong character in this story, and I think that's pretty cool. He's normally more of a force of nature than a real character, and I like that we get to see it. Not correct at all, but okay. That's so not correct. more of how he's feeling, even if it's just through his actions. And in this series, you can see how Obi-Wan and Anakin are both people that just kind of hate themselves. 
They just express it in different ways. And all of this is very compelling, but it only shines through every once in a while. I found myself mm. enjoying the moments where Obi-Wan is just talking to someone about how he feels. Yeah, and there's so mm -hmm. little of that in the show. Like, Ewan is a great actor. Give him more content to work with, and, and he will deliver. And here's another he thing. He was also he an executive producer on the show. I'm surprised he... I'm sure he's he tried to much. give, like, some ideas on like how oh, she yeah. should approach this version of this character. I bet you, I well, bet you 100% no, Kathleen Kennedy didn't allow him to do that. I, yeah, I was about to say, so th this, uh, this scene right here, despite, you know, him accidentally calling her Leia, which, you know, makes no sense and it breaks the whole story because the yeah. stormtroopers on this planet are looking for someone named Leia who's a little girl. But anyway, despite that, there's other reasons. The mm -hmm. a, a, outside of that part, when he's looking at Leia and saying, you know, you remind me so much of your mother and stuff, and he was talking about how strong she was and stuff, that's some of my favorite parts of the whole show. Where he's looking at Leia and go, you remind me of your mother. And I was like, this is oh, great. Padme. And they should have had like little Padme. flashbacks of her or something, like, oh, Padme, oh, Nelly Portman, oh! <laughs> <laughs> The thing, yeah, that's the thing. There's all these little things they could have done. You know what I was hoping for? Because they, they did this in the... They did this in the EU. You know what I wish they did in this show? I wish we had a scene where Vader visited Padme's grave. Grave, yes. Can I you imagine? Oh. Like, God, that's dude, how like, one of the I episodes just, oh. starts and how one of the Ooh. episodes end. Oh, imagine if that's how the show ended. Oh, that could have oh, been. Man. That could have been how it ended. It if that's like how it ended, I would have sat back in my chair Maybe. in awe and be like, <sighs> "Wow." Well, at least it ended crazy. At least the ending was pretty crazy, I guess. <laughs> but like, I, it could have oh, been also a good gosh. way to introduce him too. Like maybe Vader's like, we see him get in the suit and everything, and he decides like he's gonna go. You know, we, he mentions like oh, I'm gonna go visit someone. I don't know. How he says it. He says it in a Vader way, and he goes visit her and everything. That could have been like a good way to introduce him too, if you want to do that. that like way. that's like the last the thing series. that he's choosing to let go of and embrace Vader 100. Yeah, percent Like exactly. first he did yeah. it with Obi Wan in that fight, and then he's like, there's one more loose, there's one more loose end I need to take care of. I have to do this on my own. And, and it goes to Naboo and then visits Padme's grave. Of Padme. And then he doesn't say a word the whole do. scene. Just just walks up to the grave, puts his hand on it, we get some flashbacks, and, and then we get like a quick glimpse of Padme saying to Kenobi, there's good in him, I know there's still, and then she dies, and then we come back to Vader, get his hand out the grave, oh, turns get, and walks away. Goosebumps. And then, oh, and then it ends. Oh, just thinking about it, dude. Just thinking about it is giving me goosebumps. Oh. Remember how your friend Anthony was like, why don't you write a Disney Star Wars show? I will gladly write oh, y'all a show. For, do a far better, far I will do better. it for free. And I will make the fans happy. I will do it for free. Yeah, I don't make care. A proper you know be show or movie whichever you prefer like nightmare's reaction movie. right there just goes to show how much better we could write this this show better than they could we could i, I think we could because well, there's again there's so many things we can get into that will prove why we think we could because yeah. i mean oh my god there's so many things that just that guy that guy ah. cracked me up more than anything he was basically just cussing at me saying about how i'm like wrong so i'm like how i'm like i'm literally it's a, I, it's, I said it's my opinion. I, I'm basing Watch it on you. my opinion on how I feel about the show. He basically kept saying you're wrong. Shut the fuck up, or I'm gonna beat you up, or some shit. I'm like, like, I'm like, whoa, hold on a minute. That's, you're getting that's mad the society we live in, where uh, if people have no arguments to make, that's they threaten you with violence. Welcome to 2022. Yeah. Uh, welcome welcome to the. Never welcome to, to, our, that, welcome that, to this really new era. These are the best moments in the show. But they don't happen all that often because we have a very <laughs> contrived narrative that needs to justify this show's existence. And the thing is, this show can't justify its existence. No. Nope. It's impossible. Because at the end of the day, Revenge of the Sith ended with no loose ends whatsoever. Everything ends in a way that just makes way for the next movie. There is no ambiguity. We know what Obi-Wan was doing. 
and in order to preserve our precious continuity, we still have to end the series in a way that does not surprise anybody. In A New Hope, Vader still said that Obi-Wan beat him in their last fight, so you kinda know what has to happen here. It feels like they wrote the concept of the last episode and then they made a story around that finale. Oh, it does. It feels yep. like they wrote the ending first and then did everything else. Oh! Yep. Good lord. That's Why am I bad not writing. Why do y'all keep doing this? They did the ending first. You know who else well, did that? Well, I mean, that? that's that's a theory. That's a theory. You know who else did that? That's, that's a heck of a theory to make, though. That's a heck of a theory, though. D and D for that's Game of Thrones season eight. They wrote the oh, ending yeah. first, and then they did the rest of the season. Oh, good lord! They said we don't care what plot holes or what conveniences or what you know shit that doesn't make sense. The characters have to go through. We're gonna make them go through it just to get to the ending we envisioned. Like, like, look, it's. It's endings have to feel natural. They can't like this feels like all so of these little ending. all these little dots yeah, had to be connected to together ending? perfectly yeah, we have to get to, to this point. We have an idea for the ending. So now we have to learn how to get to If the you want to do a finale like there, this, that's there. fine. And there's ways to do it that can make sense. But it just felt like that these yeah. guys had such a hard time figuring out, man, how do we get these guys to fight in this fashion, in this context, one last time? How do we do it? I don't know. How is a bunch of, you know, contrived plots thrown together that don't Let's make do sense? Let's do a rescue mission. Over and over and over and over again. Yeah. <laughs> Risky mission. There you go. That'll get him to fight at the end eventually. Because the last episode does feel like the most fleshy. Don't get me started on this. Spoilers. I get. Do you want to talk about it now? Since I, I briefly mentioned it. All right. So uh, I, mean, I knew right there. I knew he was going to be in it, but the timing and the context when he showed up was fucking stupid. It was really, there, really, and it really, came out of really literal really nowhere. It, he just kind of just showed up. It felt useless. It felt useless. It added nothing other than hey guys, here's your Qui Gon Jinn. And this goes and this goes back to what I was saying about how people again, the people audiences were using their tunnel vision again. They were only like, hey, it's you, McGregor, Tane Christensen, talented. Oh, it's Liam Neeson. Oh, he's Qui Gon talented. Best show ever. Like people did not care about. Again, I said people do not care. Boring. The writing. All right, I'm gonna come up with a better way to introduce Qui Gon Jinn yeah, in like, ten s in, in five seconds. Ready? Three, two, yeah. one, go. The finale where Vader and Obi Wan are fighting, and you can have it play out the exact same way. That's fine. And then have Obi Wan being crumbled underneath all those rocks, and he's like, "This is it. I'm going to die." And then he just sits there and starts getting flashbacks of his life, and he sees flashbacks of Anakin as a child, and then when he was training him and stuff, and then he hears a familiar voice. Quite, and then he appears in like some void or whatever. And Qui Gon appears, gives him you know a lecture about how not to give up, and to say that you say the galaxy once before, it's time to do it again. Whatever, blah blah blah. Then you can have the rest of the fight play out. That's how you introduce a or hey, this type of cameo. Like literally, he shows up and says, "Hey, Obi Wan," and Obi Wan says, "Oh." Hey, Qui-Gon, why weren't you here before? And then he says, oh, you weren't listening. Yeah, where you been? But anyway, we should get going. We got a long journey ahead of us. Okay, let's go. And then it ends. They basically, it's so anticlimactic. Literally. But this is basically, this was in my head. They basically pulled the same shit. Uh, I hate bringing this movie up, but it is part, it's part of what we're talking about. They did this sort of, they did this sort of similarly with The Rise of Skywalker. Ah! With, I know what you're when, talking about. Ah! Not, the, not, the, not the very, very end, end like the part where they had Leia and Luke. At the end. I mean the parts where they waste, where they had the voice acting from Hank Christensen and many other actors. You know all the beloved. It was useless. Love. They just had them for voices. They did nothing. They just had when you guys could have used them. Like you took the time to ask Hayden Christensen or Ian McGregor come in and do voices. You could have at least asked them, "Hey, could you guys?" If they say cut out all those too? voices, absolutely nothing would have changed. Nothing. Nothing. No, it wouldn't have. 
You could have used Ed Hayden Christensen for a scene with Adam Driver, Ben, Ben Solo or something, you know, just anything like that. Hey, here's another thing. This is another thing, going back to Qui-Gon real quick. Oh my god. I, I got, I, about to, I'm about to blow y'all's mind here. Y'all ready? Y'all, um, so, yeah, you could have had more, I think they could have done more with Liam. Now, I don't know if Liam was just busy at the time, I don't know what was going on at the time of this, I, I don't know what, if they couldn't get him to stick around, I don't know. But if he was available, they could have had more scenes with him in, in Obi-Wan. Maybe there could have been more scenes with him trying to communicate with... Because if you remember at the end of Revenge of the Sith, when Yoda brings up the fact that you could he could, like, what was it, something about completing his training with, or communicating with Qui-Gon, they made a reference to that in Revenge of the Sith at the end. So you'd think that would have been something he would, you know, do in the show, but he doesn't do it in the show. And then we don't get to see Qui-Gon until the very end of the show for a random cameo appearance. Uh, yeah, Revenge of the Sith, hello, did you guys not remember seeing that? You guys could have watched... But here, here's another one, though, real quick, before you interrupt me. Here's another big one. Imagine if Qui-Gon confronted Anakin. Darth Vader. Oh my god. What a wasted opportunity. Yo, Good you Lord. pieces of shit! Their minds. Qui Gon confronting or having a discussion. I would have cried. Oh. Uh. It was. Because you, you guys remember, it was Qui Gon that brought Anakin into the, It was him that. It really was. Here. He was his mentor was. at first. Can you guys imagine the scene? How crazy that would be! You think you think there would be more for Qui Gon to do here, or not, well, not more to do, but more like stuff to go on, like, like how does he feel about what happened with Obi Wan and Anakin after Episode Three or before then, after he Man, died? Like, how the do you, potential you there for what they would say to each other is yeah, like uh, ooh, you can only imagine, and that's the problem with the show, guys. And we will, I will say it again: the concepts, the ideas were there, but they executed them poorly. They had so many things they could have done here. But they didn't do it for some reason. I don't know why. But Disney's they didn't. got other agendas on their minds. Apparently, don't coincide apparently with they what have we more want. time to put. I guess from what it looks like, more effort into freaking, freaking Andor casting Andor show. But no, nah, could it be a nah. like? Look at some of the Clone Wars shows. How the Clone War like animated series did this. Strong and powerful, just as I imagined. Master. There. Your buddy here was about to be turned into orange goo. He picked a fight with a Doug, an especially dangerous Doug called Sebulba. Do you believe you are the chosen one? How can I know? I can tell you what I believe. I believe you will bring balance to the Force. That you will face your demons and save the universe. He is the chosen one. You must see it. Did you hear that, Master Qui-Gon? Yes, Alakan. It calls to you. The tree? Yes. You must enter it. Alone. And, and this creature of the dark side, do I leave or do I stay and kill him? Neither. Look deeper. You will find another way. I don't understand. Anakin. Training to become a Jedi is not an easy challenge. And even if you succeed, it's a hard life. Not far from here, there is a place which is strong in the dark side of the Force. You must go there. And destroy the sun. I'm... afraid, Master. Control your fear. You are the Chosen One. And you must be tested. Remember your training, Anakin. Trust your instincts. Master. Ah, uh, good lord. Right, yeah. I agree. Have you guys seen the uh, Kenobi fan film? I believe I have. Yeah, I loved it. It was freaking awesome. This was actually kind of what I was hoping for for the show, to be honest. If this, this is was episode like, one, like... Sorry uh, about that. Can you imagine? Yeah. Had a little, I was having some connections issues there. Hey, speaking of good Star Wars fan films... Like, imagine if this was the first episode. It would have been awesome! All right, I'm hooked. I'm in. What else you got? And you know, it's kind of funny. The production value on this looks a lot better than from the Kenobi series made by fucking Disney. It's like they're almost on par, which a is absurd. Dollar company. I know. A billion-dollar company. 
They have fan films that put in this much effort. It's even to a shot dollars. better than the fucking million dollar show. Multi million dollar show. Like this, you have a fan film like this that's really good. I mean, you have fucking Darth Maul. That's a good, awesome fan film. You have the SC3 Reimagined film that was made that took fucking forever to be made. Like this, that is shit right there that's full of effort and passion and heart. Just like this. And then you got Kenobi, which the series itself, which is just like, what the hell, man? Where was the effort? Where was the passion, the love? I love this part. This makes you smile. Got him. Got him. Bruh. Is everyone alright? He sounds like him too. He did a pretty good job. I know. Him. Yeah, they did a good job. They did a good job with the casting for this. We just need to get him home. Are you alright? He really does. He does a good impersonation of E1. He's sure. looking at that saber. <laughs> <clears throat> Thank you. You're so May the force be with you. So that was uh like what I got more emotional um satisfaction in three minutes out of a fan oh. film than a multi-million dollar show put out wait to... i yeah. just <laughs> my gosh come on guys like seriously how it feels the most I just... well defined how? In all right let's get into this real quick keep going still got ways i agree but the way they get to this point is still just kind of messy like yep. imagine if i had to pitch the show to you and i said this all right guys so obi-wan is down on his luck and he needs to get his groove back this is the story about how he picks himself up to confront darth vader once again and along the way he gets a little bit of help from baby princess leia you'd probably cut <laughs> me off right there and i admit yes Baby Princess Leia isn't the worst thing about this show. You think it would be, but a lot of the time she does actually work. In the first episode, I was really worried when I saw that she was going to be a big part of this story, especially after this CW. Oh my the gosh! This my God! Scenes in Star Wars. There's really oh, can we? This. But oh my God! My God. <laughs> It's no, no, no. It's not one of the worst scenes in Star Ladies Wars. It's one of the worst Ladies scenes in any high budget show I have ever seen. All right, let's talk about oh, this. Oh, I was gonna say, this is. I was gonna say, oh my god, <laughs> one of the worst, if not the not only the worst in Star Wars chase scenes. I mean, the worst chase scene ever made in film. Like, like you said. I have never watched the most. I don't know like, this because is, obviously like I haven't. I haven't seen every it movie makes, ever, it, but this is easily. Remember what I said, Anthony? That, that shitty chase scene in uh, Moss Espa, I think it was the Book of Boba Fett, with those uh, shitty ass the mods were using those Bark. shitty ass bikes or whatever. I was like, oh, this is the worst chase scene in Star Wars. This scene right here, nah. this nah. chase oh, yeah. makes Kenobi that like, scene look like a masterpiece i'm not fucking kidding yeah. Kenobi was like hold on no, hold, 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 hold my lightsaber hold my lightsaber came out here with this my oh my, hold my lightsaber with this. this honestly looks I like they just watched. shot this on the spot i and i said this before i could honestly right now go to my next door neighbor and be like hey i gotta film like a, a funny uh chase scene real quick can you help me yeah sure and i can film a better chase scene with my phone in five minutes, 
than this. This motherfucker gets stopped by a little girl a little. with a fucking bitch! A branch stops a fully grown man! Can I just say as well that not only does it stop him, Reckon it bounces him back, back like he's a fucking pinball! It's laughably bad! Reckon they don't bad. even care Reckon this Reckon sucks! I give this scene a ten out of ten. <laughs> like this the scene, scene alone, alone honestly ten. dropped the episode overrated, score. This was episode two. This dropped the episode score from a seven to like a three. It was bad. This is the scene where my I knew was, I the show was gonna be too. shit. This is the scene. This is when it started going downhill. My dad was like, when he's my dad, I was trying to explain this to my dad. I was like, yeah, oh, they had this. God. Did you see that terrible chase scene? He's like, well, they eventually got her. They eventually got her. It was like, why do you even have bit, to have the chase scene? Why not just capture? This is a waste of time. Look at Careful. this motherfucker! Look at the green dude! What kind of run is that? Why he's are like, you running like you got shit in your pants? It looks like. You look like the. You look like he the looks like he shit himself. Like, get you. Look, look, you look, he looks like he shit look himself. Look at the green guy. I shit my pants. I shit my pants. It's like they, it's like they're playing tag with her. It really is. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's like we just want a hug. Like they're playing, oh they're playing, uh, they're it's playing like, like the the playful chase. I don't care how tunnel vision you had to be. How did anyone not look at the scene and go, "This is the dumbest, stupidest looking thing"? It's terribly edited. Man. How did no just, one? And where are you going? Why are you going left? You're a fully grown male. Just run straight. You have longer legs. You can run faster than a child. Just fucking catch her. Why are you going left? And then this oh fucking part. Oh, here it is. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen, the branch, the branch, the dreaded infernal branch. <laughs> oh, God, I under it. Oh, Why well, did you I, go I, under it or jump over it? Oh, I don't know. Go around it. Oh, we'll get into go. We'll go. Speed of going around. We'll get into oh it. my we'll gosh, we have to talk about it. I can't hold it in but we'll again. So no stupid, no one... stupid shit. Okay, they go out of their way to show where the laser gate ends. Right? There's like a three yeah, foot like wide gap gate. where Obi Wan could have just walked around it. Yeah, he goes. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? I don't know how to get around get it. I'm gonna take out a blaster and shoot the console, and hopefully that destroys it. Mother. Fucker! Walk yeah, around this! Walk My around! Yeah, yeah, there's. Yeah, there's. Yeah, there's yeah, a. Said, it's why after that just fucking force, force jump, jump over it? That's what my dad said as soon as that happened. Where he's forced to the pull again. <laughs> he literally the says that. His force powers. He doesn't have his force powers apparently, so I guess he couldn't do it. So he could. Even if you don't have force powers, you can easily jump over no, it. It's no, 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 guys, guys, you can just walk oh, around. Yeah, just go around it. Just walk around. Just walk around it. It's a lot easier. This doesn't take too be much a time. Doesn't waste energy. On... Like yeah, for people who are confused, it's back to the scene where he was shooting at those the <clears> guys and after the truck, everything stopped. That's what we're talking about. We're talking about that gate scene. Yeah, this gate. And he, where he could have just, yeah, this scene right here. I'm looking for the. He could have just walked around the damn thing. Uh, let me see. Like how, like why? How did they not look at this, that scene and not think that's Walk a good shot? That's around. great. They not look at it and go that would make it that would make us look pretty dumb if we kept that in there. Why didn't we just? It's like Jesus All right. Christ. Look at this. See this? Can you guys see my mouse? See this? Yeah. Yeah. There's a well, little look. Hill here, right here. Outside area right there. There's like an outside area over there. You can just walk around. And hold on, I'm trying Either to find the shot. Other, like yeah. Yeah. Ah! Ah! Right here. Ah! Hey, Obi-Wan, you know, very smart Obi-Wan, you know, you could just... Oh my <laughs> gosh, Obi-Wan versus the fucking fence! Oh the fucking fence! That, 
That's fucking funny. No! No, there's me! No! no! There's no! There's right. There's right hell, right hell retribution vibes. I got right hell retribution vibes from that. Oh no! no a laser gate. It's so you could have just got around it. Oh my gosh! There's a Ooh. fucking meme. What a train oh, no. wreck! This is what it feels like. People, this is what the show's like. And you say, oh, nostalgia, Hank Richardson, Ewan McGregor, Liam Neeson, Town 10. Guys, forgot, are you kidding me? How, how tunnel vision do you have to be? How, how nostalgic baiting, I just, this is the equivalent to how stupid this show is. And people might say, well, guys, Star Wars is stupid. That's the, guys, here's the thing. There's a difference between <laughs> stupid and logic. <laughs> Oh, the logic. I just noticed the logic, on the right. <laughs> yeah, he's like, know, he's like, it it's too. right there, buddy. Just walk around. Only one hates laser there, fences. There's a difference between stupid and logic, guys. Oh no! And you know that in Star Wars Episode One, The Phantom Menace, when Obi Wan is faced with a laser <laughs> bear, instead of using Force Sprint, he decided to wait and watch his master die. <laughs> And in the Kenobi series, Damn. he made sure that no laser barrier will ever stop him again. So this oh uncivilized my God. space hobo just... Yeah, hold on, there's a, there's a shot, there's a shot. Look at that! Oh my gosh! It's a hop and a skip! It's a hop and a skip! Not guys. even! Yeah, not even. It's, it's just, you can literally walk around it. Like, hey, like, like they went out of their way to make the shot was nice and clear. You can, it's so concise that we can clearly see how you can go we can around see everything. it. We can even see that you could go around the damn laser. Just blasted it to bits. Even yeah. though you can just walk around it. This is because yeah. Look, look, let's shot right there. Look how wide this is. Look that at that one or that one. Just well, that shot. That how? Side, you can go oh my gosh! Look how side. big the gap is on the right. Side. Oh my gosh! Look how big it is on the right. How? Hell, if you oh wanted to, you could drive this vehicle break. around it. Will not look at this and think this is the dumbest I can't thing do it. Seen. First, we have a terrible chase scene. First, we have a terrible chase scene. Then we have this. <laughs> what is going on, guys? You mean to tell me that instead of walking around the laser gate that was like three feet wide, he d doesn't know how to get around it? How to shoot it with the fucking blaster rifle? What? What? <laughs> <laughs> God. Oh man. I'm losing my mind. Just WHERE IS THIS FUCKING BULLSHIT?! <laughs> I'm losing my mind. <laughs> this show is making everybody look at- make us lose our minds, dude. And I didn't even watch it! Uh, this is actual footage of me watching Kenobi during that scene. I just God. How did no one not like? Did anyone reacting to the the videos I mentioned who reacted? Did not one of them look at this and go, uh? That's All pretty the fucking sus. Are very oblivious <laughs> to the stupid shit, which kind of I told you guys off. again. It's it's the th it's tunnel vision. It's the nostalgia. I told you guys. It's just it's the equivalent to what I mentioned earlier. It's like yeah. these people are just they don't look at the background. They're focused on one thing. They don't focus on the background at all. They're focused on one specific thing, and that's the problem, man. Well, and look, no. like we said, if you like the show, man, I mean, it's whatever. But Jesus Christ, can you not tell me that this fucking chase scene or that damn laser scene or anything else that we're probably going to bring talk about here soon in the show, none of that is <clears throat> not just hard to, to this guy, stomach. Like, I just, this guy sounds funny when he talks, so I listen. She was going to be a... <laughs> <laughs> he just sounds dumb with <laughs> life. He just he, he, honestly, when you watch the video, like for real, he, he definitely sounds like he was done. He sounded like he was depressed. <laughs> he sounded like, so sad. Like, level yeah, he sounds like he's high and sad at the same the time while reviewing the show. He probably had to get high after watching the show. He couldn't take it. One of the dumbest scenes <laughs> in Star Wars. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
That's unironically funny. Yeah. All right. Uh, all right. Uh, uh. My gosh. All right, let's, let's keep going so we can get back. No this. But by episode two, I thought she was a decent character that fits the conflict of the early story. Episode two does a good job of selling her to the audience, and I think episode three also is pretty wow. decent since we get a lot of moments for her and Obi-Wan to talk and flesh out his mental state. But then, after a few more episodes, I realized that she's not going anywhere. She's one of the main characters. She's yeah. in the whole show. And I don't know, I kind of just expected her to, like, leave at some point. I really didn't think this show would just be an escort mission for Obi-Wan to get <laughs> Princess Leia That's back home. Is. I think I just assumed that maybe her dad would arrange for her to get picked up a little <clears throat> earlier. You'd think the fucking Grand Poobah of Alderaan would be able to get a ride for his kidnapped princess. All I'm saying is that she definitely overstayed well, you know, since her welcome, his and troops I to just her, wish yeah. the story was God. about more than this. Because this is the story of the show, and a lot of the time it overshadows the stuff that is actually interesting. And I think a lot of my problem is that I'm seeing a pattern with Star Wars. We have a show about a dangerous guy who learns how to take care of a child, and another show about a group of misfits who learn how to take care of a child. And another show about how an old <laughs> oh my god to take care of a child. <laughs> and hell, oh even my the fucking Lord. Boba Fett show has similar themes of learning how to take care of people other than yourself. Like, oh they keep god, making the same show. Is it just me? Am I just being a hater? No, you're not. It's not just you. I didn't finish bad. No, he's got a good point, actually. When you look, seen think this about story it, a million times. I think I'm just bored. I want something new. I want something different. But instead, I get another Star Wars show where the main character has to learn how to care about someone else. Oh, and to top it off, I get another boring and predictable dark side redemption arc. Yeah. I am that so happy. It could have been better, but they I am so. I, I was worried he was going to defend her. I'm so happy he's not. Good job, Cosmo. Yep. I'll drink to that. Good job. Yeah, I'm surprised you didn't make me want to punch you in the face after this, because you had mm. a pretty punchable face. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> anyway. Literally. <laughs> Gee, Star Wars, you I'm shouldn't sorry. have. I'm just starting to think that Star Wars is relying on callbacks and fan service over making something truly <laughs> oh. compelling and unique. They immediately took it and decided, you know what this show needs? Luke Skywalker. So yeah, maybe this show was just not made for me, because seeing elderly Anakin pretend to be a teenager oh, just doesn't excite me. I get nothing out of it. That was a very weird this scene. Is not the kind of fan service that I enjoy. You know what I enjoy? I like seeing Darth Vader it's not a decent, and Obi-Wan like, having a genuine it's conversation one of the decent parts of the show, and actually but it's getting still pretty bittersweet closure with one another. That's the best scene in the entire show, and it just works better than anything else. And that's why everything's so disappointing, because at the end of the day, this didn't need to be a six episode miniseries. The last episode's really the only one that I fully enjoyed. In an alternate timeline, this was just a fun little Star Wars spin-off movie, and it was more focused, and it got more love and care put into the narrative. As it stands, it feels like a decent movie concept that got stretched out into a TV show for no reason. Because the best yep. thing about this show is that you can tell that Hayden Christensen and Ewan McGregor like playing these characters. And after seeing so many actors become disillusioned <laughs> by Star Wars and grow to resent it over the years, it's nice to see people who were like, yeah, maybe some people didn't like our movies, but we had fun and we gave it our all and we'd love to do it again because that passion does show. It's fun to see these guys come back and do a pretty good job. I like that Hayden's Vader does feel different. It's just a different guy in a full body suit, but he's doing it his way. I love that McGregor gets to have real moments of genuine strong emotion instead of the dry toast they gave him in the other movies. So yeah, this show is a fun, temporary distraction, but I don't think it had to be. I think it could have been a lot more. There are a lot of Star Wars fans that are sick of cameos and callbacks and references, and they just want to see something new. And this show is not going to change their minds. So yeah, overall I'd say it's not the worst thing ever. I think I'd probably give it a 6 out of 10. What? And yeah, that's not very bad.
A little too nice. That great either. That, yeah, he's really being too generous. To be better. At You're least he admits nice. that, yeah, there's a lot of dumb, yeah. terrible, terrible things, at least. Okay, we finally got through that. Oh my goodness, that was a long one. Let's get back into it. <laughs> Let's get back to this one, I guess. Oh, oh man. Oh, we just saw it. I was like, yeah, I gotta check it out. Yeah. Well, what else is there to go on? Because there's still more to do. We still got more to talk about. I'm sure. Oh, my lord. We talked about the All of the shit with the prison scene. Can we talk about how they have one of the worst prison escapes of all time? Oh, we haven't even gotten to the shit of how Reva gets stabbed and lives. Yeah, yeah. so there's, like, there's still a lot to cover here, so... Let me try to recall some of the dumb things we did. I'll get another drink earlier. because I'm about to lose my fucking mind over this. So I'll keep going. Yeah. So, let's yeah, see. Uh, let me the, try to recall the, some the things. Oh here. my god, that's fucking funny. <laughs> uses the, that's funny. Literally, that's literally what they was. Oh, also, how did none of the other Imperials hear her talking to Obi Wan on a device when someone was literally two to there three was one feet away from her? There was yeah, one no, even and not just that, the there were several other people in the room while she was kind of talking out loud and none of them heard her. I'm like, are y'all that like, fucking hey, what's going on over here? That's a, little, that's a little suspicious. That's a little sus, you know? Yeah. Just saying. But, um, yeah, so there, there's still a lot to go on. I mean, I'm trying to think here. Let me try to remember, recall something else that was in this show. Oh, God, I mean, you have, because... Going back on Reva, I guess here. Stormtroopers Reva. not see him right there. How did the stormtroopers not yeah. see him hide Good right run. there? Literally. I don't know. Hey, you just said sus. He vented. <laughs> he vented. <laughs> he did vent it. <laughs> Excuse uh, me. Clever Obi Wan. So um, yeah. So they're <sighs> Reva. I'll get back to Reva real quick, I guess, to get a little. So Reva in the show, as we mentioned, is unintimidating. She's just not a very good character at all, and they obviously their goal is to throw in this redemption arc with her, at the because that's literally the the goal in this. Um, they the, and like I said, there was an interesting idea with her, it, like there was an interesting idea. Like I said, they could have done something similar with Finn, if you know if they actually wanted to try this time instead of what they did with Finn in the movies, they could have. They could have had something interesting there with her and have her be this inquisitor that's with them and all that stuff, but they just didn't. They just. It's so weird. And the problem is, I think one of the main issues with Reva is we don't really understand her motivations for the good. for the majority of this show. For the majority of this show, she's basically just with the inquisitors and they're going after Obi Wan and this and that. We don't really know and what she her really, deal is. She. She really virtually does nothing in the grand scheme of things. She's just there to complain, whine, and bitch. Literally. <laughs> and get mad. Her when entire. She catch in the so at first, oh. the show sets it up as oh, her motivation is that she wants to capture Obi Wan to become Grand Inquisitor. No. Her actual motivation oh is that God. she wants to kill Vader. Yeah, that was funny. Motherfucker! You get he had that like 810 trillion times to kill Vader. He didn't even try! No! This, you can't pull a bait and switch like that! No, no! The, the big issue with this is that they waited to tell us this in the second to last, last episode! episode. <laughs> and not only that, episode. when she's talking with it. Obi-Wan through, through the blast earlier. door, literally the rest of the Stormtroopers are just standing there, watching and listening, as she's telling Obi-Wan her entire sob story. <laughs> And then she goes, hmm, like they could have you know, I've been thinking about killing Vader when watch, I get the chance, watch. and they're all just standing there, saying and doing nothing. So yeah, they wait until the second last episode to reveal that, yeah, she wants to kill Vader. Which, we know is not going to happen. Obviously, that can't happen. It's, imp it's not no. going it to Riva uh, gets oh, fucking. St that was a funny edit. So, Riva gets stabbed. She gets stabbed by stabbed. a fucking lightsaber, and yet she has the strength and stamina to not only fly all the way Somehow to Tatooine, but to also fight off Owen, Beru, and run after Luke and carry him all the way back. And then she decides she doesn't want to kill him for whatever reason. Just walks off. Into the desert by herself, and she still lives. 
Her so, living breaks yeah, so the OT. It's, it's, uh, she gets stabbed not once, actually. She, she gets doesn't even she was stabbed. get a heroic death! Because Disney doesn't have the balls to kill all the female character anymore! Yes, and they want, or they want to do a show with her. Ah, this fuck! Ah! There's that shot. There it is. Oh my god, we've Goodness, already terrible. There's the money shot. Choreography. Fucking slaps him. Ter terrible choreography. Flips the gun. Somehow. Yeah, we mentioned this know. briefly in our last, uh, like briefly in our last yeah. podcast, because we couldn't help ourselves. Oh my. We had to go. What are you doing, dude? You just got slapped and you're wearing a helmet. <laughs> Oh I just, my how god! Did they not, like, how did no one? It showed the no gun one falling. This this is, the it gun fell by imagine. itself. How could, they, how could they not have looked at this and go, "We need to reshoot that"? <sighs> but Jesus they made Christ. the empire. Anyway, the empire is not scary. They made them fucking stupid in this show again. Anyway. All right. Anyway, let me get back to Riva. So, yeah, Riva gets stabbed actually once because uh, they had a flashback where they showed the reveal what happened and that whole bit. And she gets stabbed once in there, she survives, and then she gets stabbed again by Vader again, and she survives. You'd think Vader would have learned his lesson from the first time he stabbed her and say, oh, whatever. Because Jeremy Johnson brought this up in his review, too, where he's like, you think he would have, you know, kill, like, actually tried to actually kill her for real this time? Like, just to make sure she's, act yeah, whatever. So, yeah, she lives. So that's, and then she gets whatever the hell she happened, because I didn't watch the whole final episode. I watched, like, one clip of the final episode, so I didn't know what actually happened, but... Yeah, whatever happens to her happens and all that. But you know, one thing that I also... Oh, there's that shot I mentioned to you guys, that part where he's testing out... that They bring it up right here where he's testing out his force powers. And then all of a sudden he knows how to use it here. So there's that. But... It's like... I just... There's so many things they could have done with Reva, but they just... It's... They didn't... They just... Like I said, execution was so poor. They didn't do shit with her. They, could have, they just could have done something so much better here. But, um... Going back to, I guess, actually, speaking of that scene when she gets stabbed, so there's a part where, uh, the one main... <laughs> oh, my God. I forgot about that! Yes! Yes! Oh, yes! My yes! I love it! Kudos. I love it. That's fucking awesome. <laughs> oh, my God. That was All right, funny. anyway. So, um, speaking of that scene where everybody gets, uh, stabbed... Um, oh, hey, look, a little droid. Uh, the, the part where Reva gets stabbed. So you guys earlier in the show, the that what's his name? I don't remember his name exactly, but I guess they call him the Grand Inquisitor. He's like the main Inquisitor dude that we, cause we yeah. see him in the show. He's got that makeup and everything on. It looks kind of crap. Um, uh, I love throw no shade. Don't throw no shade. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> yes! Yes! Oh, yes! Seriously, guys, this is the equivalent of what Kenobi is. This seriously. is what Star Wars has become. This right here. This is of what Kenobi. Guys, can you all imagine if I took a picture of this and went back to the past and said, "Hey guys, this is this is going to be a scene of one Kenobi." You guys would have been like, "Josh, stop, stop, stop being funny. Stop joking." Stop, no, guys. You're, 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 this stop. will That's actually a, happen is, in the show. Funny. Like, Josh, stop being funny. You're, why are you saying that? I'm I'm being That's serious, y'all. This right here is going to happen in an Obi Wan show. You thought crazy, I was fucking man. stupid. You're crazy. You thought you, thought, you think I was fucking you insane. I would have asked. I would have asked the higher ups to fire you immediately. Sis, <laughs> like yo, get somebody. Get, get this guy. Dude. My, oh, gosh. my gosh. <laughs> my gosh. <laughs> the comparison <laughs> is unfathomable. Uh, um. Just yeah. so this is worse than Austin Powers levels of stupidness. At least Austin oh, yeah, Powers is self-aware. Power. This is like trying to be serious. Oh yeah, my love, god! Like, I love Austin Powers too. Those movies are fucking hilarious to me. I love them. Uh, so much more entertaining and funny. Anyway, um, yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> Why did they put her in one of those crates? Put Leia in one of those crates and move the crate. Oh my gosh! Like I know. You like, there could have been at least some crate you could have put her in before you got through those gates, maybe, or the door, sorry, excuse me. Like, any crate, anything, anywhere. Anyway, so, going back to the Grand Hell, Inquisitor. The I would have taken a giant, you okay. know, fight in the hangar itself with Leia hiding until it was clear over that. 
Oh. Yeah, that too. There you go, another idea that you could have went with instead of. It's better than we got. It's not That's great, but it's thing. better. Yeah. All right. Anyway, so. Ah, <laughs> yes. Yeah, this guy oh knows. My. All right. Uh, oh, I'm subscribing you. to you. Whoever yeah. you are. Good job. Oh, That's you. fucking awesome. All right. That, that was oh, yeah, and then there's these guys. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Reba is right there. She's right there. Just shoot her. Yeah. And then there, yeah, these random guys just show up and help out out of nowhere. It's like, okay, cool. The Calvary's here. Uh, out of nowhere. This whole scene. And the CGI on the snow spears looks fucking terrible. And and the the scene itself is just a weird, messy. Oh. And the fact that she was blocking <laughs> the blaster bolts from the snow speeder made no sense because the. Oh yeah, you, it's, I don't know if he'll show it in this. But they're oh not. She's not just. She's not just deflecting like blaster bolts from a from a regular blaster rifle. These are blaster cannons. Even if your lightsaber touches that, it's going to explode, and you're going to get critically injured or die. You cannot deflect that. Back, at least. I would not be surprised. I would not be surprised if Ryan Johnson or Deborah Chow, whoever, thought, you know what? What's going to be cool? We're going to make a new Star Wars movie. We're going to have yet another type of Death Star, and we're going to have it shoot its planet destroying laser, but a Jedi is going to deflect it like with their lightsaber. That's what we're going to use the force to deflect it, one or the other. Use the force to stop it or something, I don't know. I, w I, I wouldn't but, um, mind the yeah, force, so but stop it. But using yeah, a lightsaber to stop cool. it? Yeah. No! Yeah, force would be kind of neat. You see, like, someone stop, like, the force, the big old giant laser come. That'd be kind of sick. That looked kind of Oh, cool. yeah, and, like, turn it around with a 360 no scope. Blow the Death Star! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe! <laughs> yeah. What the hell? How do you like, like them right apples? Oh man. Chame, chame, ah, he just sends it back in there. Just does a 360 no scope, sends it back to the Death Star and blows up everyone inside of it. I mean, <sighs> Vader and Leia would have died, which would have been sad, but hey, no more Empire. Yay! Yay! We did it! Yay! Yeah. And then, uh, anyway, and, then so, and then Luke and Han and Obi Wan get, get out of hyperspace and get there, and then they see Alderaan like Alderaan's there. Wait, what's that big giant debris field over there? What is that? Uh, whatever. Let's go back to Alderaan. They get them like, oh, yeah. God. So Damn. Leia kind of died because you know a Jedi and Alderaan in a 360 no scope with the Death Star laser blew it up, and she was on it. And then they're like, yeah. oh, all right, I guess her job's done. No more princess. <laughs> I mean, got you saved, right? I mean, Sidious is probably still out there, but at least we killed Darth Vader, Now we can right? deal with him, it's fine. You know, no more Death Star, no more Vader. We got this. We got this. Pretty easy. So, um, yeah, this, this scene in general is pretty dumb. I mean, there's that part where she's... I don't know what it is, but when... I don't know if they'll show up, but there's that... The scene where Reva's running. The parkour looks scene so looks so... She does a backflip and goes yeah, that, forward, that, that, and then when she lands that on the weird. ground, she, like, rolls forward. Rolls. It's like, you did this? That, yeah, that's weird, you went, was, No, she went... I was just think about this. Yeah. She went back to go forward. And then she rolled forward after going forward. Backwards. Oh, my gosh. Forward. But I was going to go over this scene because there's a part where she's running towards, like, to stop Obi Wan and them from escaping. And I don't know what it is, but it looks so weird. Oh, my gosh! Look at this! Look at this! It looks so look weird. Look at that! Look at that! It looks like fireworks. It looks like fireworks going off. Michael like Bay, scene. where'd you come from <sighs> directing this episode? Oh, man. <clears throat> Michael Bay's like, I got this. Uh, but the scene where, like,. What I find weird about this part is too is when, like I was saying, when Reva's running, like towards them to like catch up to them. I don't know why it just looks so weird to me. Like it oh looks so God. weird. Like I don't know if it's Reva in this. Part actually... Oh my God. Yeah, here's here's this one. Here's this. This is earlier in the in the show. This kind of. Oh my God. And... You know you know, you know what you know what they ripped this off of? They ripped this straight off of Ghost in the Shell. 
Oh Fuck you guys. Oh, they sure did. Like, yeah. Where, where she sticks her arms out to the side and then slowly falls down forward. That's straight out of Ghost in the Shell. Yep, I know exactly what you're talking about. They ripped about, it too. off. 110%. I also think it's kind of on a stick. Like, what the fuck what is that? that? I think it's what, it, what was that? Is like, that like what a, is uh, that? What are you doing? Just let's jump! Park, what is park this? Park this you, there's no park need for you to stretch that. your arms out. You could have literally. What? I could have jumped what was that. that? No fucking jump. What the fuck was that? Why don't you just keep running straight? What was the point of that? You don't look cool. The problem, oh, no. the weird thing about the scene is that she's her goal is to catch, I guess, Obi Wan, right? Because there's all that he's going towards Obi Wan, and yet she's taking all the time to do all this what is jumping, that camera spinning. Angle? That looks like stupid. Yeah, Much like down. She again, focus on oh, she does this stupid gone. ass thing. Where's she gonna just jump Ooh, over I'm, it? Why am I so cool? Ooh, Aren't I so cool? Like, why are you time? Aren't I a badass? Ooh, like, why are you wasting time? Ooh, I'm the worst part. Spiral, the worst part. We gotta go get do a one. backward gonna... flip to go forward. And then roll. Oh my god. Whee! Oh, that's so stupid. Anyway. Yeah, so, exactly. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So yeah, the funniest part the afterwards when seeds. oh wait, funniest parts afterwards when Lauren and Leia are casually walking in the streets, she's still parkouring and pressing. <laughs> 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 oh, this movie crazy. laugh it was so goofy, but if it had similar nonsense, yeah. this is actually even worse the second time watching it. Yes, yes. I wish there was Good actually a clip of Lord. the she's running after them in the, the base, but I don't know if there is. I wish there was. Cause it looks kind of dumb to me too. I don't know what it is, but the way I think it's shot, it looks so weird too. Oh, that but... shot looks so bad. Yeah, what this is this? Bad. It's so goofy looking. You can obviously, yeah. It's so goofy. It looks like a cartoon. Yeah. But yeah, the, the the scene here when she's running after him looks weird to me. I don't know if it's just the camera angle, cause it's shot like as if she's like the camera's like above or not above, under her and like it's falling like she's yeah why do they as, shoot it like it that looks like, that's just wait, not they gonna show it here hold on let me see that appealing. wait what was that run uh, did y'all see that let me see if it shows there a replay i i, I wasn't paying attention why is reva run i wonder it's just so weird now, hold on i hope, I hope it shows was it just me or she'd run really weird yeah, playback. I don't know. Maybe it's Real maybe it's because it, it's like the directors are like, okay, we'll tell you when to stop. And it's like at, like as she's running, she looks like she's slowing down. Or yeah, something. Like, I agree. Like not to go out of shot. It's like okay, stop right. He's there. not even running at a fast pace. Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, she's not running that fast. How far is that? What the fuck? What was that? What is this what? editing? What? What? Wait, what? There's nothing there. What I noticed is this that too. editing? Like, it goes, it just, watch this. Cut, 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 cut. What in the fuck? What? Cut, I guess. Well, I must have missed it. Like there. Hold there. on. And they just, they did I gotta play it really slowly. Hold on. I don't, I don't What's that? It. Yeah. It's Reva. I know it's Reva. <laughs> That's Reva running still. They cut. do nothing. They just look around. Running Runs slowly. Slowly. And then, and then this terrible shot where half her body's cut off, and then... What the fuck?! Oh, There's my. nothing there! Oh, no! Reva, no! no! that's her! That's actually her! I thought it was Reva. There's that's nothing there! The, that's actually the other girl that's with them. It's just her little bag of her head right there, that's it. What, and then what was that shot?! the ship to get away. I don't know. I just, I don't know. What... It, Guys, come on! There's nothing! Just, what shot man, is this? There is nothing! That, that makes no it's fucking a blur. sense. That's what it is. It's a blur. That's a shot, it's a blur. Yeah, so they get- Oh, wait, there- Oh, he cut it away, dang it! <laughs> yeah! I wanna, I, wanna see her, I wanna see what her face was... looked like at that shot. It probably looks stupid. What? Oh, there's that sh yes, that choker, pretty... choker Vader killed her. Do it! Okay, whoa. I don't care. I don't. I don't care. I've already had, and that's another thing. I've had people threaten to beat me up because I didn't like. I wish they would show up, but she's a terribly written character. Oh yeah, here we go. You be quiet. We have to get the shot I'm thinking about here. Okay, there's that part. Where's the shot I'm thinking about here? 
Running, stupid. Where is it? Where is it? Shot. Oh, okay. Oh, there it is. That was a better shot. There it is, right here. Look at her face. Her face. Like, oh really my god. It looks weird to me. Get... It looked so weird to me. I don't know what. I think what, I, what my little like theory of it is that no, she's running that no, way this should not the be a game. thing. Oh, yeah, she should is, not be able yeah. to block that. That's fucking bullshit. Oh. And also, this guy, whoever he is, you know, he's trying to hold him off, and he dies, and we're supposed to. Be <laughs> that looks so oh, no. funny. Uh, look at this. That looks so stupid. What are you <laughs> trying to do? You're not impressing no one. But yeah, that, that shot of her running though, that they show where she was like the camera was like under her there. Oh it looks so my weird. God. No. I don't know why. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Oh my oh god. Oh my gosh. Oh my lord. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> the music. music. <laughs> Please oh play the god. music in the clip of the Star Wars. That'd be awesome. Someone shoot me now. <laughs> no one will notice. <laughs> this is literally oh, what look. happens in the show. Oh my god. There's actually people looking like, what? Oh my god, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Oh my god! Yes, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Whoever did this edit, fucking props to you, man. That's just fucking good. Whoever, whoever. I just, I just don't understand. Major uh, Grin. Thank you, Major Grin. For the show. Oh my I just don't understand. God. I'm so confused. The music. Oh my god. Excuse me. Ah, it's a power! Oh, there it is! <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> oh, my oh my god. Oh, my god. Oh, my god. Oh, my Oh, my god. Oh, my god. Thank you! Somebody actually showed it! Oh, oh my, my gosh, god. I'm crying! Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so... Yeah. Terrible One scene. second, one second. Editing oh. is terrible, directing is terrible, just... What the hell? So, going back to what I was going to mention earlier beforehand, and that, yeah, like I said, the Revo run was terrible, it just looked so weird to me. I think it's because of the way it was shot. Because it looked like she was like running, and like she was trying not to hit the camera or something, like the person holding the camera, like, okay, I don't want to hit you, so I'm just kind of running like this. It looks weird to me. Anyway, going back to what I was going to talk about earlier about that Grand Inquisitor guy, the guy with the weird, terrible looking makeup that they tried to like, replicate from the uh, animated show, the cartoon, or whatever, from Rebels. Oh, God. Hey, what's so, up, man? He actually... Good to see you. Mm, man. So, um, he died. Well, he, he gets stabbed in the show. So I was like, oh, well, he's dead then. Even though he doesn't die until the Rebels cartoon, which takes place after. So I was like, oh, how are they going to explain? How are they going to explain his death, or how is he going to be alive when we see? Because he's in Rebel, he's alive. He's supposed they're to be not the going guy's to. Rebel. They're not going they're, to. They won't, they won't explain it. No, no, they, no, no, no. no. He, they're the, gonna. This is the, this the is their is, fucking answer. <laughs> My God. <Yeah. laughs> you got no wait, no. You got to He gets stabbed here in the show by Reva because he was arguing with Reva and Reva got pissed at him and killed him and then she still couldn't capture Kenobi even after that if he's whatever so we believe he's dead but he shouldn't be because he's supposed to be in Rebels which takes place after the Kenobi series or yeah I think yeah it's supposed to be like way after so he's supposed to be alive so I'm like how they gonna well, how's that gonna work so during that scene that we were talking about earlier with Reva getting stabbed by Vader somehow he just shows up He's walking right beside Vader. He's alive. Oh, they didn't even explain it neither. He just kind of was just like, "Hey, you know what? Alive, you know what hey, hey, hold on. They, they explain it, but you're not gonna believe what they say. And because the, the line he uses, I think it's something. Basically, what they, what I remember hearing, because I watched someone's review and he showed it, and the guy says it's stupid. He says the will to live. And that's it. And more than That's that, his explanation. so in the, the fucking finale, when live. Vader and Obi Wan are fighting each other, me and Anthony, I think we said this last night when we were playing Dying Light, they ripped mm -hmm. off Star Wars Rebels. 
Oh yeah, 110 percent. They ripped off uh, word for word what they what he said to Ahsoka when he said, "No, I I'm not your failure, Obi Wan. Uh, you didn't kill Anakin Skywalker. I did. Like that's some fucking Star Wars oh, Rebels." Literally, 110 percent <laughs> ripped off from that. Yeah. 110%. But, um, the Grand Inquisitor, so, the, what's funny, what's dumb about, now, going back to Inquisitor, because I, I need to, there's a reason I'm talking about this. So, he says he, sur he lived, or he survived, because he had the will to live. <laughs> now, here's, now, some of you might think, well, what's wrong with that? Well, there's a, plenty of reasons as to why that's terrible. And the guy even, the guy I watched who did the video on it, explained that, yeah, it's terrible. This should not, it's like saying, when Padme died, having a broken heart, so now it's like, oh, so you have if you so if you die, you, if you, but if you have the will to live, you can survive being stabbed. You can survive like that's like that breaks that it's like it's the biggest it's a plot hole basically. Oh to make. It's like universe breaking plot hole. That's like if saying any oh, yeah. Jedi or Sith if they have the will to live, they could survive apparently from their wounds. Which it's I guess such means, lazy writing. It doesn't make which, any I guess, sense. I guess Reva, since she has the will to live, she had to survive her stabs twice. Chat and says I, guess, I forgot that show existed. Yeah, you're better off not watching it. And then it's like another thing. It's like there's plenty of other things that have happened in this show, uh, movies and shows and cartoons and games where it's like <laughs> characters die or getting stabbed, whether it's a Sith or a Jedi. It's like. Could they? Should they have had the will to live? They could have survived. It's like it just—it's—it's it's breaking the universe. It's like Jesus Christ! Did we'll we the still first time. To do this? <laughs> first Star Wars, first Force Resurrection. Now, oh, if you have the will to live, well, you can survive anything. Apparently, according to what yeah. happened to Grand Inquisitor. Jesus Christ, guys! I just, the power of revenge is, keeps me alive. Uh, uh, the anger, they the did anger it for Darth Maul, and I alive. didn't really like it there. But he had an interesting character arc, at least. But here, it's just, it's just unfathomably stupid. They didn't even bother to explain anything. That's, and again, oh, hey, Nico. Like, hey, well, guys, it's. Hey Nico. But guys, it's it's Nico. Star Wars. It's 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 always been stupid, guys. And like I said earlier, there's a difference between stupid and logic. The okay, fact that Obi Wan, for whatever reason, will goes to this gate and just 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 shoots it. Instead, he could have gone around it. There's there's no logic in that. The logic that Nico. somehow the logic that Reva is able to deflect those blaster bullets from that ship. Uh, yeah, there's no logic in that. Uh, the, the, the logic. Oh, we're gonna get into this thing. I'm all right. Time to get into Vader. Hold up. I'm bringing this into Vader real quick. Oh, oh boy. Gosh. You, think Vader, you think Vader is a, a safe from this? Oh no 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 no. He's not safe either. Oh, they make him look just as dumb as Kenobi, because there's a scene. This is the first time I think one of the first times we see him. It's the first fight. Okay, this is it. We're talking about the first official fight between Darth Vader and Obi-Wan Kenobi. It's not even a fight. It's a fucking slaughter. Because uh, Kenobi runs comedically. Like, the see like the moment when him and Vader see each other and he just runs off. It looked, I don't know why. It looked comedic to me. When he runs off to the side. It looked like a cartoon. Anyway, so we finally get the Va him and Vader have a fir first time confrontation. <clears throat> and it's, you know, it's a pretty much a slaughter. Vader basically wipes the floor with him for the majority of the fight. Um... So, after the fight, basically, when he has Obi-Wan where he wants him. He has him where he wants him. And he uses the... Because during the fight, they open up this little uh, container or whatever it was, something like that, to uh, have this oil come out or whatever it was. I don't know how and Mark Hamill and Harrison Ford put up with the series at this point in the franchise. Chat says, I mean, they probably get paid so much they don't care, knowing them. So. Yeah, probably. Which is kind of sad, but yeah. But, um, yeah. So Vader has open more wants him. He uses his lightsaber to light up the fire, which we saw a few times in these clips and some of these people's videos, where he lights up the fire, and he's basically he's basically in a sense he's wanting Obi-Wan to feel what he felt, you know, like you feel my pain basically now. And he starts force pulling him towards the flames, just rubbing in and everything, just burning him. It's okay, makes sense. And then some moments after this, I think uh, something leads to him force pushing the flames away and force pushing Obi-Wan away. So it's like, okay, sure. Well, I guess he did his job, so now he's like, okay, Stormtrooper, hey, you, why don't you go and get him? Okay, here's the first problem in this scene. Uh, hey, Vader, why don't you just why don't you just go get him yourself? Or just, you know, pull, pull him towards you. Pull him towards you! Literally. 
That's what my dad said. He's like, why didn't you just pull him towards him? Or I don't know if you guys are aware of this. Uh, this is established in the EU comics, which for some stupid ass reason, Dizzy says aren't canon. Vader's soup is invulnerable to fire. Well, there's that too. Palpatine specifically I mean, I mean made to... Vader's suit invulnerable to fire because Anakin almost got burned to a crisp. Why do you think he made the suit invulnerable to fire? Also, yeah, okay. during their so final, they're... oh, the epic, the so-called epic, quote-unquote, finale that Vader and Kenobi have during their yeah, fight, <laughs> there's a part where Vader grabs Obi-Wan's arm like this. He grabs his arm. I don't know if you guys are aware of this. I don't know if you're aware of this. Vader's cybernetic limbs have the strength of, like, 50 men. Where he could practically pick up like mm -hmm. several tons with his cybernetic limbs. That's how strong they are. You mean the time when he grabs Obi Wan's arm, he couldn't just snap it in half and break his bones or something? Or just ripped it off? No. Oh That's why Vader is so yeah. hard to kill. When he grabs you, it's over. It's over. If he grabs you, you're dead. Oh Plain and simple. Why do you think he's still gonna kill him, Jedi? So, Not only is he strong in the force, but his physical presence is so OP, he's almost impossible to kill. Like, the average Jedi is, uh, uh, they have I mean, no did chance. did you see Rogue One? <laughs> you all see Rogue One? Holy shit. Yeah. That was crazy. How intimidating he looked and everything. That was great. Anyway, going back to the scene again, because we're not done with that scene. There's still a little bit, there's still another problem with that scene. <laughs> so after, for whatever reason... He decides to not force pull Obi Wan towards him and just go and grab him himself. He sends this random sword trooper, "Hey, can you go get him for me? I'm I'm too lazy. Go get him." Uh, so yeah, he goes go get him. He gets shot. The sword trooper gets shot. And then that that one girl that's been helping him or on the journey, she helps him. She shoots the storm trooper, then shoots that container. Basically, the flames go a, a, a blaze again. <clears throat> so it's like, oh, well, shit. Okay, all right. Uh, oh, what's now? More okay, fire. Vader. I give up. Now, I guess you gotta go get him, Vader. You gotta go get him, man. Uh, so, but, uh, yeah, so, Obi-Wan is still lying there. This robot, this machine that's, I guess, with him or helping him, whatever, goes and picks him up. Uh, and Vader just kind of stands there. Just watches him leave. Doesn't go over the fire. Doesn't even use the fucking force push that he used two seconds ago! He just lets him go. And people tried to theorize and explain this scene too. Like I think even of Star course. Wars did try to explain this. Like guys, there's no logic. Again, there's a difference between stupid and logic. There is no logic in that scene. No. There's no logic to explain that. It is stupid. He could have just there's and there's another scene later in the series. He does the same fucking thing, where he watches him just leave. It's the scene he just stares at the ship leaving. He's like, you know, yeah. when I first saw that, I was like, oh shit, there is out for blood. And then when he watches the second ship leave, I'm like, wait, why aren't you using the force? You just used it two seconds ago. Literally yeah. two seconds ago. Why are you just standing there going? And then Okay, he's I guess we can't catch it. them now. He just lets the other one go. He's like, I'll do it to this one, but I'm too I'm too winded. But they don't show him winded in a way. They don't show anything that gives us an idea that he's winded or he's he's weak from using the force earlier. There's no sign of that. So there's no way he was winded. There's no evidence of that in that scene. So it's like he could have been fine. He should have been just able to all right, here we go, pull it down now. Like he just lets it go. Just My flies gosh. off. I, have to tell, I don't Again, even have to tell you guys the, the stupidity when, uh, when, uh, whatever the traitor captain empire lady's name is, um, when she's like, yeah. hey, Leia, yeah, this, you, you want to go rescue Obi-Wan? That's a great idea. Why don't you go down back to the tunnel we just ran away from, oh, go back yeah. into the tunnel, and you can go find Obi-Wan by yourself. She goes oh, yeah, to find that part, one by herself, yeah, yeah. and then she gets back to the tunnel, and then somehow Reva gets ahead of her. They don't intercept each other in the tunnel, but somehow Re Reva just teleports in front of her, and then captures her. Yeah. I'm just like, she's just there at the end. 
when she went through the entrance <laughs> earlier, but now she's at the very like there's no because from what we saw and we mentioned that thing briefly where it looks like it's a one way tunnel. There's no left. There's no right. There's no other. It's like a one way. It's like one end. I'm and, going to and, send yeah. this innocent ten year old child to go look for a Jedi master fighting a evil Sith Lord. He's probably the most powerful Sith in history. I have fighting. this brilliant <laughs> idea of sending this child to go look for this Jedi fighting this evil sorcerer by herself. My so god. At the very end, when she was at the beginning, and now she's at the end, she, she, she teleported over at the very end and killed the pilot they were going to go to or whatever. And she gets captured. Oh, Again, difference between stupid and logic people. There's there's a difference. Yes, Star Wars is stupid, but it's not completely no, that stupid. It's not stupid at all. It's George Lucas is a it's genius. Not that stupid. He created he like he's a genius. Like his imaginative mind yeah, created this know, amazing I'm, universe. It is like, cool. Yeah, it's cool, crazy. Yeah. The stuff we're getting is stupid and has no logic. Yeah. There's logic here. It's just there's no logic, guys. Like I, I hate to break it to you, there isn't. Nope. So, that's that's just. I, it blows my mind when I, think, I, when uh, I hear some people react to the show that's like, oh, it's great, it's fun. It's like, guys, I, I think you're confusing logic and stupidity and just, and just, and like I said, have tunnel vision, ignoring all the stuff in the background, just kind of focusing on, oh, hey, it's Ian McGregor, he's, it's great, oh, hey, and Christian, oh, it's Liam Neeson. That's it. They, they just care about nostalgia, which I mean, nostalgia is a good thing. It can be. It, I'm not trying to dismiss it. Nostalgia is not a good thing. It can be. But if, if that's the only reason that it makes a good movie or a good story, well, that's that's kind of, you know, that's... Really? That's it? Oh, so that means if, if Jurassic World Dominion is great because Alan Grant, Jeff Goldblum, all they are in, you know... It's not great just because of them. There has to be... It has to make has to be a reason. It has to be a good it has to be a story. It has to be a story. Chat says it's, it's all nice about money for films them. now instead of love and creativity for our 150% Like, agree. it's nice to see them. It's nice to see them. But they but don't like, do anything. Why are they here? They don't do why anything. Why are they here? What's their yeah. purpose? What is it? You have to at least give them a purpose. Give them something. <sighs> anything. And look, this show could have done that with Obi-Wan and, 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 and Hayden Christian and Ewan. But it felt like there just wasn't much here. It's like the Ewan and Hayden definitely tried their damnedest. There's no question they tried. I mean, they tried yeah. in the prequels. They tried here. They did their damnedest to make it work. I, 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 hell, I could say the one only decent thing I'd say that I saw in the show was probably their last, their final fight. That's like the one decent thing that, because I, I watched the fight. I went on YouTube. Even that has a ton of problems, though. It does, but it's like the only decent thing that I liked. And yeah, some of the stuff with you uh, with Obi Wan and Leia were kind of nice again. Even when they're just talking, I'm like, you're just ripping this, you're just ripping this off from Star Wars Rebels. There's nothing original here. Yeah. Yeah, but it is probably one of the decent. Parts. It's better than their freaking first fight scene, obviously. I mean, oh, yeah. no first that, fight that scene first was, fight was awful. They're just wobbling at each other like he was a fucking was, fly swatter the was, with the lightsaber. But the fight, the second, their final fight was a lot better in terms of choreography. But it was just there. Yeah, there were problems. I mean, you can, the camera was a little uh, shaking all over the place. It was a little hard to follow. It wasn't awful, awful, but I, I could see much, most of what was going on. But it was a little hard to sometimes because the camera wasn't moving a lot. And I mean, there was it was fine in some areas, but it's just a decent fight scene and some good nostalgia here and there, guys. That can't be enough to no. make this to call this the best show, ten out of ten. It just that can't be enough. You, you, like, stop being so blind, guys. Please, people, reactors, whatever. Just this is you're letting them get away with this stuff, with the half-assed stuff. You can't let them do that. It's Guys, just, I have... So, no, I have... Terrible. I've got nothing left. I've... I could talk... Honestly, we've been talking about this for almost two and a half hours. I could talk about this for eight hours, ten hours, twenty hours. There's so much to go over, really. There's so think, much to go over, but I think, but I think we went we'll over talk, the we'll main points. Right I mean, honestly... I, yeah, I mean, it very I clear think up to up that... I said a while back, if you fuck this up, this is it for me. This is it for me. I'm done you with guys, this. You Star guys Wars. are done. Yeah, so I'm is, done. So like you guys nightmare. said you were 
you were done by like the midway through the show like i'd say around episode three you guys were done i wasn't there yet i was gonna wait until the show fully finished to decide whether i was really done or not by the end of the show i was just like and i again i didn't watch the show per se which i know some people might say it's unfair you didn't watch the show i watched re- re- reaction you watched reaction, enough reviews. i i Basically, what I I basically kind of pulled sort of the same deal. I when I remember when Halo was coming out, I said I had a bad feeling about this. I, you know the famous uh, Star Wars line. I had a bad feeling about this, and I had the same feeling. Did with they even Kelsey. say that line in the show, Anthony? I can't remember if they even nope, said I, that line. Nope, nope I had, they did yeah, not. I, Oh, I had a very they bad even feeling. said that I, in the Mandalorian. Been, um, they didn't even they didn't even say that I, I here. Oh my! I basically gosh. had a disturbance in the force. When it came to the show, I had I felt a disturbance in the force. I was like, I just don't know. As a million and of voices I, cried out in excitement, and then were suddenly silenced. And then I realized, like, and, and oh, going back, this is something I was going to bring up earlier. And I told you about this when we, last time, not long, uh, not too long ago, Josh. And we were talking about it, like after one of our podcasts. What I think makes this so much more sad, sadder, so much more heart, so much more heartbreaking. Is that we've been asking for this show or movie? We've been asking for a Kenobi show or movie for years. We've been we've been begging and pleading to get a Kenobi, a Noble and Kenobi movie or show for years, for maybe I would say a decade or two. We've been asking for this for so long. We were hoping and praying and just begging for Disney or whomever the hell would make this happen one day, that we would get an actual Kenobi movie or show taking place after the events of Revenge of the Sith and before A New Hope. We were waiting, and then the time finally came. The trailer came out. There was excitement, but there was also, you know, cautious... There was a little cautiousness, but we were excited. It's like, oh, is this... Could this be it? This is the chance for Disney to finally tell us, yes, we are listening. This is their chance to prove to us why they are a freaking billion-dollar company. This was their chance... And it's like watching a football game. They have the ball. They're going into the touchdown. They're all, they're right there. They're inches away. And they fumbled it. And they fumbled, they fumbled it. it. Mm, right damn. there and there at the that's very deep. end. And, the, and it's like, that's basically what happened. This was their chance. They had it. They had the, They had all the resources. They had everything they needed. They. This was Obi-Wan Kenobi, one of the icons of Star Wars. This was the show that needed to succeed. And it didn't, for at least for me and for us, for a lot of people, this is not it, guys. I've, I've had so many. This is what's sad, um, getting on the topic, too. I've told a lot of my friend, other friends online that like I've known for years, and I told them how I felt about the show because we were both Star Wars fans. And a lot of them like, unfriended me, threatened to beat me up because they thought my opinion was wrong. Yeah. And I'm just like, I can't believe people that legit defend this crap literally i just don't believe it you you well, defend this below mediocre mediocrity bullshit when i expected more from a character religion. like this it's, literally, yeah, it's, it's inexcusable it's very inexcusable. guys this is sir I'll, I'll quote a guy that i watched who did it who had a video on it he said you deserve better we deserve better yeah. And I and I agree. He said he said we, we deserve better. I agree. We deserved better than whatever this was. There's there's like I said, we talked about we were talking earlier of how there were so many cool ideas and concepts they could have done with the show from with the Qui-Gon Jinn appearing and, and, and other things that could have been so much more interesting. The the idea of Vader visiting Padme's uh, grave or tombstone. The, the the things they could have done were there. The possibilities were there. Hell, you could have had Darth Maul appear as like a cameo in this show or something. That would have been pretty cool. I don't know where you put him or how you fit. But damn it, there was something there. There was potential here. But Disney, for whatever reason, for whatever unknown reason, their their lazy asses decided to go with whatever the hell they had here. They just there's there's no love, there's no heart, there's no passion. When you look at fan films like the Kenobi fan film we looked at earlier, or Darth Maul's fan film, or this, or this or C38 reimagined, See? these are films that were made by fans who had nowhere near the amount of budget or money capable of making whatever the hell this was. This is unacceptable. Yeah. That is it unacceptable. Is unacceptable. How in the like? I just it doesn't. It baffles right. my mind. Anthony, just, 
final thoughts wait. and your verdict for this I guess it's called Love One Kenobi. What's your review for Reva the show? <laughs> What's your review for Reva the show? Kenobi I'm just gonna get straight Reva to the plan. point. I'm gonna yeah. give uh Reva the show a three out of ten. An mm. an epic fucking failure. I am extremely disappointed. I want to fucking die after wasting every Wednesday watching this shit. Literally. Mm. So that's all Nightmare. I'm gonna say. I I've got nothing else. Nightmare. Well, again, I never, I didn't properly watch this show myself, but again, you watched enough. I looked into it. Yeah. I, I saw enough. I think You've I saw seen the whole show and all movie. these clips. Essentially, like there's nothing else there. I mean, we're not lying. It just, it, you know, and <clears throat> just to get it, just to get into a little bit of a speech here, I guess I'm gonna. It's just, I hoped and prayed that the show could have been decent at least, even if it was. Not the greatest, at least be decent or average. God, I I would have taken that. I would have worked with that, at least. But this, this was just bad. It wasn't decent. It wasn't average. It was bad. And that's insane to think. To think that this show that had that that had that couldn't have failed. This is basically. It's equivalent to what Bioware is into right now with their new game. What was it called? Starfield or whatever that new game. Or like that is the game that that they cannot <clears throat> that cannot fail for them because that's or no, I'm sorry, Bethesda, but not Bioware. Sorry, Bethesda. That's if Bioware. But that's like a game that they cannot afford to the, that they can afford to fail. This was the this is the same thing with Kenobi. This was a show that could not they could not that Disney could not afford to fail. They couldn't. They had to succeed. It's just. <sighs> I I hope one day, one day will come when when one day that <clears throat> something will change, where Kathleen Candy's gone and removed from, or something something will one day change and that finally we can get some good Star Wars content. That one day something will change. I pray for a new hope to one day come and save us from the the Disney. Empire of the or First Order of the Empire or whatever the hell. I pray for something. Anything. I just... We need a spark, guys. We need a new spark to reignite the flame, basically. That'll burn down the fucking Disney Star Wars banter or whatever the hell. We just... I mean, we yeah, need to, I agree with you. Yeah, man. Uh, sorry, sorry for interrupting real quick. I agree with you, but I just don't see it happening in our lifetime, honestly. At least not anytime soon, sadly. But yeah. Mary, what's your verdict? One day. One day, I hope. As far as my verdict goes, I was, because before this, I was really going up and down. I was debating. I'm like, where do I want to go with this? What do, do I... I was really going up and down. I was debating on like a 3.5 or 4 even. I was like going back and forth. I was going all over the place. It's like, where do I stand with this? Where do I Where do I think it's fair? And I, I'm like, after going through all the, the problems... And, and looking at the behind the scenes and understanding, like, this is a billion dollar company, guys. Again, I'll repeat that. Yeah. This is a billion dollar company! There is no excuse. There's This is unacceptable. There oh, needs to be, shit. there should have been more effort. There should have been more heart and passion. There should have, it should have been better. This should have been one of the best shows for Star Wars. This should have been. It could have been. But it wasn't. So what's your verdict? I am sadly going to give Kenobi slash Riva slash Leia <laughs> a three out of ten as well. I was debating on I was close to maybe getting a three point five, but I was like, I can't accept like because again, it, this is a billion dollar company that should should have done better. It should have been better. It could have been. So I think a three is definitely suffice given the circumstances and everything, and I think it's fair. Mm -hmm. I agree. It breaks my heart. It does. I, I, like, so believe there's, me, guys. Believe, it breaks my heart. That's, that's, that's where I'm standing. There's right little now. tidbits of things that I like here and there that I was like, yeah, I, I kind of enjoy that seeing. It's always nice seeing, you know, Hayden Christensen, yeah. Ewan McGregor getting some love. And, yeah, you know, it's nice obviously, me. just the fact that we're getting more Star Wars content is always, well, interesting. But when it's under Disney, it's a different kind of interesting. But. Mm -hmm. the the level of quality that we got here 
is absolutely abysmal yeah. that there's literally no reason why this can't have been amazing. This was Disney's turning point. This was their last chance to grab me as a fan and they failed so epically their incompetence at lucasfilm is so mind-bogglingly fucking stupid that i genuinely don't understand how any of them are still employed this show had every opportunity to be amazing every opportunity it sucked Mm -hmm. Little little specks here and there, little inklings of things that I kind of little liked. Sprinkles. Little sprinkles, sprinkles on top of shit, literally. A chocolate uh, shit. Cake. I mean, just <laughs> basically. There's nothing here, guys. Sprinkles of good on a chocolate. Cake. Like the story is vastly uninteresting, and as Cosmonaut said, I'm gonna agree with him. Revenge of the Sith left. Virtually no loose threads. You know where it's going to happen. So the story here, you, you don't even need to watch the show. You can skip it, and nothing will change. Mm -hmm. And if you do watch it, yeah. if you do we watch can't. it, it's going to break the OT. So I, I would say, if you guys haven't seen the show, don't. Because it's going to break the mainstream movies for you. It's going to break the lore of those movies unless if you, you watch this. You really feel like you have to unless you really feel no, like you have no, to you just are no no i forbid you anyone that hasn't seen this from watching it i'm <laughs> sorry yeah i would i wouldn't recommend it but i'm just saying if, if, if they really feel like they have to i mean god this help you, you do, shatters my heart i wouldn't recommend it in a million pieces i'm going to give obi-wan kenobi a Three mm -hmm. out of ten. Three uh, out of ten across the board.